Hey there, everybody. We're playing some DC 20 and we got some familiar faces here that you might have seen before. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to go around. We're diving right into it. I want you guys to introduce yourself, your channel, uh, maybe what you do on your channel, uh, your character, of course. And uh, let's start off with you, uh, Steve. Let's go. Hey, I'm Steve with Lunch Break Heroes. We create guides and adventures for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. I also publish a lot of other things like a deck of cards to help you tell a story. That's called the Deck of Many Quests. Alan loves it. He's holding it up right there. <laughs> uh, we've also got lots of other things like, you know, uh, handy dandy dice, uh, dice trays, stuff like that. Ooh. All sorts of stuff to help you run a better game. And what's your character? My character is Merrick Thorngage. He is a halfling uh, rogue, and uh, oh. he's kind of a grizzled little guy. He really, really hates rich people. And yeah, we're going to see how he does in this adventure today. And you are does a he, rogue. Does, does yep. he drink and know things? You know, he, he doesn't. Um, he Because he, he looks like He doesn't know much. Is <laughs> not nearly as much as he thinks he does, at least. <clears throat> looks intense. Love it. Awesome. Going around, we got Colby. Introduce yourself. Hey everybody, uh, Colby channel is uh, D4 D and D deep dive. Um, just D4 is fine. Too. That's a mouthful. Anyways, uh, I do character builds um, for mostly D and D, but also a, a little Baldur's Gate three, especially lately. Um, Pathfinder in the past, though I've kind of let that fall by the wayside a little bit. But anyways, um, yeah, just deep dive into into a character build every week, and just kind of trying to create characters that are. Really fun, but also really powerful to play. I will be posting um, Colby's uh, monk build in the and down in the description, so everybody can. He has optimized the monk to be the best possible monk you can find. <laughs> in the <laughs> pressures in on the me. in the in the two hours that I've been familiar with, <laughs> yeah, the, exactly. with the DC twenty system. Yes, I've learned everything that there is to know, and I know Something the very best man. way to build a monk. No, that is not true. But you are um, playing my monk. Of course, yes, my favorite class always, and I love to kind of compare how they play across different systems. Um, sure. So I'm excited to to see what uh, what it's like in the DC20 system. Uh, my character Ariana, she is a uh, well a half elf, half human uh, monk. She's got some cool stances that I'm excited to try out: <laughs> a bear stance and a mongoose stance. I think I took. Yeah. Um, yeah, so she's just going to be punching stuff a lot and uh, trying to be a little bit tanky uh, as well. It looks like monks in this system can, can potentially be built to be uh, to be pretty tanky. So I'm excited to, to, to see how that works. So, yeah. Sweet. And Mr. Rex. Uh, hello, I'm Mr. Rex. Um, my YouTube channel is <laughs> youtube.com slash Mr. Rex. I do a bunch of just Dungeons and Dragons lore videos. I talk about uh, the sort of things that they don't tell you about the monsters from the monster manual, stuff that got lost in, in the debowels of first, second, and third edition. Um, usually some pretty good stuff, pretty fun lore. And that's really mostly all I do. I just talk about monsters and nerd out about the <laughs> Forgotten Realms. Um, I will be playing uh, Doragomir Shellscar. Is, uh, it was my character for Rime of the Frostmaiden. You might recognize the last name because it's a character that appears in that game, in that adventure. Um, nice. And I just enjoy the character so much that I started to basically use it on every single uh, one shot that I play and just like with Colby I just love trying out the cleric on different systems yeah uh, I'll be doing a uh, melee uh, sort of you know war cleric style of character just front lines big mall uh, smashing heads while also healing as much as possible which <laughs> looks like I can do very well with the system so that'll be a lot of fun <laughs> nice nice coincidentally and... yeah. um, sorry I was just gonna say for those who may have watched uh, Rex and I and Alan too, actually we we played together in a in a Pathfinder one shot on the Rules Lawyers channel, this right? And this is basically the character that I was playing there, and this is basically the character that Rex was playing there. So Which, yeah, this is a multi. This is a multi mother, So that's uh, right. I, again, yeah. I, if I, I feel real bad if you die here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is this is the multiverse of madness. Um, Let's go. And I'm, I'm going to be like, you look really familiar. Um, but yeah. <laughs> In a real meta, meta way. Uh, sweet. Right. And Will, finish us off, Will. Uh, hey, I'm Will. I have a YouTube and TikTok account called D&D Shorts. It's you do? very lighthearted. Never, never heard of. No, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah. The algorithm is unfriendly um to short form content these days yeah the uh yeah, it's just a very lighthearted. I just make videos that I think are fun about uh, D&D 5e. Um, and yeah, you can find me on YouTube. I just made a Kickstarter as well called Ryoko's Guide that you can just Google if you want to check that out. 
And uh, yeah, today I'm going to be playing a character called Barry Vadguy, um, who is uh, a, a scion, which I'm really excited to play. That's a new system. Uh, that's a new class to this whole system. So mm -hmm. it's sort of like a, a mental uh, mage. Uh, so I'm looking forward to throwing around some telekinesis. And interestingly, um, I want to also throw in there, you chose Might as your highest stat for Yeah, uh, yeah. He grew, he grew so physically powerful yes. that his, his brain Connected. became a muscle that yes. could, could move <laughs> stuff from afar. So he lifts things yes. with the strength of his body using his brain. Love he it, has love a swole it, brain. It. Yeah. <laughs> I love what, it. What, race, what race is this? Uh, so, uh, okay, so I did a little bit of tricky. So the actual <laughs> race itself that I'm building is a half dwarf, half halfling. Um, but uh, the good thing about DC20 is is there's kind of like a, there's a sort of like an open open race rule that you can present yourself however mm -hmm. you like, even mm -hmm. if you build yourself with different races. So I actually, I appear as this uh, sort of orc-like character. That that, that yeah, art yeah. is actually a, a, a blue Oniborn, which is from... Uh, yeah. my book but I, I just love the art for it so I, but 100%. essentially a, a beefy orc character is yeah. what what he is love it love it love it so um with that with all that out of the way uh you guys get thrown in uh, you start this whole adventure off to to dive in here uh you you start this adventure off and we decided in character creation during our sessions one shot session session zero um that you all are an adventuring party uh and you became friends over the different adventures and dora dora invited you back to his homelands and you have went done it back to his homelands and you just a little it was just a little problem off the side went digging in some caves and you dug a little too deep and you uncovered some sort of swamp lands behind the cave system where the walls came down a bunch of frog people came out uh your people some of your people were were ravaged we'll we'll leave that for another time but the four of you specifically have been taken back and kidnapped and taken to a stronghold that we will go to right now uh some sort of rebel camp looking situations you can see now i'm going to scroll back here so you can all see it uh, you in your haze as you're like tied up to sticks kind of carried in almost like, you know, uh, pigs tied up to a little, uh, hog tied to, to little sticks that they carry on their little frog shoulders. Uh, some of the frogs are a bit more st stocky toad like frogs. You see some little tree like frogs, the little bolas and bows and stuff. Uh, you got ushered in through this, uh, through this campsite all the way to the back of this cave system. Uh, it's going into the cave. You now, uh, kind of lose consciousness, fade out. And you are all now sitting here unconscious. So to start things off, I want everyone to make a fate roll. Fate rolls in DC 20. Uh, another thing, just a really uh, uh, big picture while they're doing their rolls is, um, uh, can I mute that? That's weird. That's a weird note. Can I? No, I guess I guess not. It'll be a weird little bloop bloop. But um, uh, when you uh, all the roles, rules and stuff, I'll be kind of keeping you guys that are watching up to date. And these guys just learned the system themselves. So I'll be kind of explaining a little bit of rules to, to let you guys know and kind of walk you all through it. So who got the highest on their fate roll, which is a flat D20 roll to see what fate has in store for you. Luck roll, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I got an 18. 18, eight, oh, 18, gotcha. So uh, the first one, the first one of you to kind of wake up and come to consciousness is Merrick. Uh, as you notice, your token here is uh, currently upside down. You are hanging upside down from the ceiling, uh, uh, feet tied to the ceiling, hands tied down to the ground with vines, almost like a little uh, uh, banded together, strapped to both ceiling and floor. Uh, you wake up to a soft, slimy little slap to the face. Um, and the lights dim in here. It comes from a torch that's somewhere around the corner uh, that you can see. Uh, just a barely of any bits of light and you see a little frog person kind of pop up um, and uh, he, he just kind of squints his eyes and, yep 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 uh, looks looks good looks good and he kind of starts making his way around uh, as some of the rest of you start to kind of wake up and then Dora you get a little slap on the face uh, and you kind of come to a little bit and see this large eyed blue spotted uh, little frog person uh, you know these to be uh, they're called croaking uh, there's the little frog people and uh, you all start to kind of wake up as he kind of walks around and you know in your little stupors and he eventually gets around to kind of each of y'all as you all kind of come up but as you look around mm -hmm. Dora your arms are stuck together in in this weird goopy tarry substance behind your back you are you are hands are bound behind your back with this goopy stuff and you are stuck kind of almost stuck to the wall too with your hands kind of behind your back in a seated position um uh, you can still you can talk and everything's fine there uh ariana uh you are lying in a bed of like this like sappy goop it's like a little like flat bed lined with a bunch of tarry goop and you are 
squished lay down flat on it and barry <laughs> you are your science so i had to do some weird stuff to you uh you are blindfolded uh you cannot see uh hanging from the ceiling uh by your waist so imagine just being strung around the waist and hung by the ceiling kind of folded in half right uh and your hands are grouped together in front of you just kind of stuck together for any sort of you know uh it's my two spell casters you do need your hands at least a hand free to cast your spell and be able to say some stuff uh although the scion can do some mind stuff if you can see them so you are all kind of in a little bit of a weird spot, but you all come to, and uh, this little frog person's kind of walking around. Oh, is this one alive? And he walks over to kind of, uh, walks over to Merrick as you're still coming out, and he just kind of pokes you, he sees your eyes come open. Oh, good, 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 good. Um, and he's just walking around. What do you guys do? Um, yeah, as I, as I come to, I'm going to look around at my surroundings and, and kind of follow this frog guy and just kind of mutter to myself, this is not how I wanted my vacation to go. Oh, good. You're all alive. You're all alive. Yep, yep. Okay, good. Uh, this is no vacation. We are paying homage to Grub Grub. Okay, so uh, uh, Dora. Or, no, he, he doesn't know your name, Dora. He goes over to Dora. <laughs> um, and he's, oh, this one's a big one. This one's a big one. Nice for Grub Grub. Real nice for Grub Grub. And it kind of turns around over towards Ariana. Mm, this one's kind of small. Mm -hmm. uh, quick question. Anybody want to go first? Anyone want to go first? By first, first what? what do you mean exactly? We're going to pay homage to Grub Grub. You all have been chosen <laughs> to pay homage to Grub Grub. Is is and quite a what does this And what does this homage look like exactly? He eats you. Yep. Uh, right. I, I have a different idea. I suggest oh. you let all of us go um, before oh. we take out you and this uh, Grub Grub. Oh. Well, um, that's why they're sapping. You can't move because you're stuck in a bed. So <laughs> that's I can try and get out. Can I, can I try and kill myself? <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, so first technical role here. So give me give me a, a martial check, uh, which is either highest of athletics or acrobatics, whichever is higher to try and just okay. straight up out of just out so of nowhere, my, bust out of here. My acrobatics is plus five. Um, so that's going to be this plus five. Oh, oh. So <laughs> so nine nine <laughs> whoa you just see you're so tiny you're so tiny it's so sticky you can't really <laughs> get out of there so you stay put you stay put and he kind of like squishes the shoulder that came up he just squishes it, your shoulder back down uh no 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 this is quite a quite a quite a momentous occasion i need to go get the tasty goop goop tasty goop goop yep 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 and he kind of starts like kind of muttering I to go, himself as he moves away i go Generations of my people slain and devoured by Grub Grub. No more. This will end now. If it wasn't for this sticky sap, my greatest weakness. And I'm just like, kind of just struggling in place. Actually, wait, you did you, did, did you say are my legs? Like, uh, no, your legs. You're 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 squ you're stuck to the. You're like gooped up behind your back, and then the goop is like squished to the your the wall. So you're like glued to your hands, and your hands are glued to the wall, kind of. I'm so, I'm kicking all over the place. Like, yeah, like, your legs are free and you're just kind of kicking. Yeah, yeah, um, You can try and, and try and get out in this little situation. He seems to be walking away to get some tasty goop goop, uh, but he does walk by you if you want to try and kick him or try and break I, you, free. I will try and, I'll try, you know what? I'll try and grapple him with my legs. Like do like a, <laughs> like a leg grab. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give, I'm going to give you disadvantage because you're using your legs while glued to a wall, but I'm going to, uh, we'll see what happens. He's just a little frog guy. That's uh, an eleven. Ooh, oh, that's disadvantage. Only, that's uh, only so eleven. That's only an eight. So yeah, the little frog guy. You got him wrapped up in your legs. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, oh. He has a little stick, and he just starts kind of like bocking you on the head with it, not dealing any damage whatsoever. He's like, oh, why are you so wet? Oh, so I'm grabbing him. Uh, uh, yeah, this is not how you treat grub grub. Hey, uh, 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 just let me go. Let me go. Barry, Barry, grab him. And I try and like kind of just push my legs like with the sending the, oh. the frog upwards. All right, then. Oh, sorry. Oh, I can't even. I'm trying to. Can I? Can I make a mic check to try and free my hands so yeah. I can take off the blindfold? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that just at advantage? Uh, like neutral? Yeah. yeah um, absolutely. You're. You're. They. They don't. They're just frog people. They don't truly know how to really kind of screw you guys up. So they just glued wicked. a very strong person's hands together in front of them. They knew you had some sort of mind stuff from whenever y'all had tried to fight them off. You know, before is all it this happened. So. Athletics, or is it just a yeah. flat mic? Athlet good, athletics. Good, then give me athletics. I'm fine with that. Ooh, I got an eleven. 
11, oh, nice, fortune. nice, nice. Um, so in general, one thing to kind of know about DC20 is the encounters, whether it be in exploration encounters, which is this is kind of that right now, they have a certain DC. Y'all haven't figured out what that is because y'all keep rolling so low. Um, no. and, uh, but you try and uh, get yourself out of this and it's just not enough. This, stack, this sticky sap, as Ariana found out, is just so oh. freaking sticky. Uh, and well, you, he's, you yell out, get him, he, but you're like... Sora, I have can, failed. <laughs> I'm sorry. While while they're doing that, can I try to uh, use my roguish abilities to maybe yeah. get my hands out of these bindings here? Yeah, I would even say this could be a it could be a trickery for you, which is almost it's a DC 20s version of sleight of hands. Um, yeah, you could do. I think that's actually you're good at trickery, right? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, well, I, I changed a little bit since you last saw yeah. my, my sheet, so I'm not quite as good at trickery, but I'm still pretty good. Go for it. So, um, so got that's, one uh, chance to do something, so this is your shot. Yeah, so that I rolled a 12, so I add my, my plus 5 there, so that would be a 17. Ooh, yes, all right, so you're able to, uh, your feet are bound and your hands are bound, so which one do you want to kind of free up? <laughs> well, uh, I definitely want to get my, my hands, hands loose. Yep. Hands are loose as Dora is leg wrestling this little baby frog. Um, Hands are loose. What do you want to do? Well, so do do we still have our weapons on us? No. So your weapons in general no, are just okay. like in this bucket over here. They just kind of throw all your okay. stuff in well, this little bucket. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to reach up and get my legs loose then because, I mean, otherwise I'm, I'm stuck. So... At this point, as this, basically this has been like one little round of y'all all trying to do something with this little frog as Dora has him grappled now. Uh, help! <laughs> help! Help! They're gonna, uh, help! Help! And he just starts calling for help. So there's a little bit of a, a, a nothing's happened yet so far, but what is everybody doing in this in this little instance now? Y'all get another round of uh, what is everybody doing? Can I'm I try and get out again? Oh, yeah. Who? Oh, sorry, yeah. Who? You can I make another escape check? Oh, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's so freaking sticky. It's so sticky. You have no room to wiggle, and the more you wiggle, it almost just gets stickier. More parts of your body get exposed to the goop. Uh and then uh yeah, Merrick, you are you are uh also out as well. And Dora, you have him grappled. And uh what are, what are, what are y'all doing? I swear, without my guidance spells, it's like you got to be useless. <laughs> so what does that mean? Uh, all right. You, so you said I'm out. Out. Your hands that are out. My legs hands are out. Hands, hands are out completely. Okay. And I would say even just right. even just like right now, you're able to kind of untie your feet as well, just from being able to obviously untie simple vines. Uh, and you're you kind of like thud down to the ground. Uh, what are you doing? Um, I want to. I I, I got to quiet this guy. Um, so I need to run over to the equipment and see if I can find one of my my swords. Gotcha. Uh, so I'll say in this little little quick moment here, give me an investigation. Give me an investigation. Just quickly roll over and have have enough time to get this and make the attack. So this is going to represent uh, you being able to uh, get it quick enough. I, I'm not very observant in this situation. That would be an eight. Eight. So you're not really sure where they put your stuff. Uh, Dora and Barry. Well, actually, it's Barry, you're blindfolded. You, you, you clock that you sure. see your stuff in here. Merrick, you're upside down. The blood <clears throat> rushes your head. You rush over here, try and rifle through. Where's our stuff? And you're just, I, I'm just, I'm just tossing stuff at it. Where, where <laughs> the hell did you put my sword? Ah, uh, they're loose. They're loose. <laughs> help, Jesus, help, help, help. By grub, grub, help, grub, grub. Um, he doesn't say Jesus. Merrick, Mer- Mer- help me out. I don't need any weapons. <laughs> True. True. So Dora and Barry, what are y'all doing? <laughs> um, own- I- I'm just, I'm going to try and, can I try and cover the sound of his screaming with yodeling? As I, as I just want to present, it's like a, I, I, I'll try and harmonize with this each yelp <laughs> yeah, in like a yeah. perfect ma- major yeah. third. It'll sound like there's kind of a song, a cheery I, song. I love it. Give me a theater check, which would be uh, encompassing singing. And I'll say, since we didn't do trades, you absolutely have mastery in this. So you have a plus two. So uh, oh, charisma great. and plus two uh, for that. Oh, okay. I'm uh, not very good at singing, but that's fine. Just as, so, so, um, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh man. It's hard singing blindfold. <laughs> it's a it's a visual medium music. Well, and it's I also always find. maybe making it worse because there's just more noise now. There's more noise. <laughs> it's help! <laughs> oh, so no, 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 no. <laughs> whatever that would sound like from your guy. Uh, and Dora, give me another uh, athletics check here to try and keep this. Na- oh my gosh! Yes, Go ahead. Sir. I rolled a natural twenty, so you're gonna have oh, to. No. <laughs> uh, nine. This slippery little frog. He like excretes a liquid from his entire skin and just becomes wet 
as you worried were uh, were grossed out by already enough, and he just slips out of your hands uh, and gets kind of starts to, starts to be able to get away uh, right here. And that's the one round, and y'all have one more before this little guy uh, squeaks away. Uh, so one last round before he's he's off and running. Ah, 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 get the gotta get the goop, and he starts to run away. What's everybody doing? So is it really a can, combat round? It's just kind of like a free form. Yeah. Uh, what is can, can I can I swing my body over like because yeah. I'm I'm suspended? Yeah. Can I try and swing my body near enough to Merrick or right, Dora right, 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 right. to to get either to kick my blindfold off? And I'll shout. I'll keep shouting. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see, boys. Boys, help! Take it off. I can stop them if I can see. Kick him in the face. It seems like that's what. Yeah, yeah, just, what? Oh, kick, kick Barry in the face. Kick the blindfold off. Kick the blindfold off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay so try and bat it away or both something. Both of y'all, give me athletics checks for this situation, and we'll see uh, if either of y'all, if either of y'all succeed, Barry's gonna be able to uh, uh, to succeed here, and then oh, that's pretty good. Hey, nice, nice, nice. Oh, so, sweet. Um, uh, you're able to kind of get a little bit of a, a thing going. You kind of jump your feet up and do a little donkey kick just to give him enough of a swing, uh, and you're able to kind of like ruffle the, the blindfold off of your large ogre like head uh you can see now and you see this little little growing starting to bolt bolt off and away here uh merrick and ariana what are y'all doing over here i'm gonna make one last valiant effort at escape so real quick oh wait what, what, what that's not what i meant to do sorry that was five a d20s <laughs> yeah and you didn't roll above and, a seven look, look how bad they all were. two natural so that was only seven four five that was a rigged. mistake I'm, this wow. is the real d20 roll so so oh, okay there we go plus five okay. 21 nice uh the moments happened it's this the time is now you understand how this substance works you try and just sit your sit your upright first instead of your whole body rolling over you manage to get up out of yourself and you are righted upright and uh ready for action um okay. <laughs> so merrick what are you doing can i can i yeah. like so how many actions did that take? So to do? since this isn't necessarily combat, you are freed up now to try. If you want to try and go grab okay. him, or same thing with Barry. Uh, Barry's kind of like you, he can see now. So y'all each have a little shot here, and Merrick uh, to be able uh, to do something uh, towards this. Oh. And you're also not upside down either. There we go. Since I haven't done anything quite yet this round, yeah. um, I want to whatever I can grab. At this point, I'm not even looking for my stuff. <laughs> whatever right. I can grab that looks heavy, yeah. I'm gonna chuck it at him. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so, so Merrick's gonna go for just a hucking a piece of a larger piece of wood at the back of this frog's head. Uh, Barry, now that you are blind, unblindfolded, and back to upright, uh, we're all gonna do this kind of at the same time for this little frog situation. Uh, Ariana, I'm assuming you want to run over and grab him. No, I'd I'd run over and punch him. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure. I'm so, better at punching than I am at grappling on this character. Ariana's gonna run over and punch him. Mare's gonna throw a piece of uh, a large piece of wood. And Barry, what are you doing? I'm gonna focus my mind and kind of tense my muscles. I'm gonna try and grapple him with my mind. Just <laughs> like hold him in yeah, place. Yeah. All right, all right. Just hold so, him in place. Yeah, yeah. So how this will play out is the three of y'all. If all three of you fail, he's getting away. But someone's got to do something, and we'll and we'll tell the story from there. Uh, so Ariana, give me an attack check. Barry, give me a spell check, and Merrick, give me an attack check as well. Just hucking this piece of wood. Who got a two? <laughs> me. Colby. Oh my gosh. So so that's a six total to hit. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness! So I, I rolled a nineteen, so that would that would end up as a twenty-three. Nice, nice, nice. We're safe. Uh, and 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 then it, uh, the twelve, the twelve spell check from Barry, still not enough. This little guy, it's like you're focusing on him, and he's just kind of so erratic and goofy and wobbly. You're just like you're trying to focus on. There's also you can sense even just right now, not very smart. Not very smart, not too much of a mind there as well. Uh, you rush over there. Ariana quickly rushes over to kind of start to grab him. Uh, so slippery. I think I go back to I go back to punch him, and like my elbow gets like <laughs> stuck to the wall. There's goo <laughs> everywhere. Goop covered in goo. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> <laughs> your body has like a layer of goop on your back yeah <laughs> and, yeah. You just, and you just get stuck it's not looking good and right before this little frog rounds the corner uh i'm just like i didn't say you could go poof, uh. and clunk and he's just koof, uh, uh falls down the ground 
And Ariana, I'll say this too as well. Uh, you can look around uh, and you see, you hear some like movement coming in from the uh, this other room over here. If I, if you can kind of zoom back okay. just a little bit, uh, there was a loud, <clears throat> lots of yodeling, uh, lots of yelling, uh, and y'all got it down enough to where you have a little window here to do something before uh, you hear some. I think there's more coming. Guys, we please get ready. Get me out of here. I'm still right. stuck. Yeah, I need, I'm still, am I still tied up as well? I need help. You're Boys. Tied yeah, up can I, yeah. Harry, come on. Can I, can I try and help uh, Barry free himself? Uh, Dummy Fabs. Yeah, yeah. Dummy so Fabs. In this little no. out of, out, it's like it's super out of combat, just like a little prep moment. Yeah, y'all are able to kind of go and kind of get, get Dora out of his hands. Ariana helps Barry out of his hands. You get the goop out. Your hands get stuck partially and you, God dang it. <laughs> do we, do we have that moment? I've got where, a like, blindfold stuck touch, to my fist. I'm like, and it's like a beautiful, like just careless whisper starts playing for a second. <laughs> he, he, he shoves his hand in there and y'all interlock fingers for a moment. Moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah and now and now they're stuck together and we can't, yeah that's it we can't get them apart I, I, I would love to glue your two characters together. Um, so, yes, Dora, you are freed from the wall. <laughs> uh, you're all able to get your stuff as well from the little barrel. So you all now have your equipment back as well because you didn't have to uh, uh, combat. Did not I did not roll for co or ask for a roll for initiative. Uh, you would have had to get your combat and do all this other kind of stuff. So you all uh, are free from that. But. You do hear some uh, figures uh, still moving, moving in here. Uh, and Ariana, give me an awareness check since you're in the front of this right now to see what you see here. All right, that's going to be plus five, yeah. Yep. So hey, finally had a good roll. Oh my gosh, natural twenty. Okay, um, easily, easy enough here. So you see, uh, there are four frog individuals uh, coming into here. Uh, this guy kind of comes in. He's like. Hey, see what's going on. See what's going on. Give me some better. And he's just muttering and mumbling. It's kind of hard to, you know, hear hear frog. Y'all don't know how to necessarily speak frog like this. Uh, but he's just gutturally mumbling. And these guys kind of start moving over here. This one does start to kind of come over this way. And you do see one extra with that natural twenty. I'll just very much smaller, like tree frog looking one, kind of enters the room. Um, and they're all in the room. There's the, the light source like gets brighter <clears> for a second and then shuts back down. Uh, there's like little, there's like literally one torch just, uh, over here on the wall. Uh, and there seems to be a light source coming from outside, but their door shuts behind them as they kind of enter in. Check it out. What's going on? What do y'all do? There's four of them. Is everyone ready? Four of them. We're going to have to fight our way out of this. Oh, I think. can I see them at all? Can I see one of them? Uh, um, from where you're uh, at right now? No. Okay, you can fine. move around like in in this little time right here. You can kind of you know whatever this guy can just move. If if, if it's possible for me to to peek a, a peek yeah. a, a a delicate eye out the corner and see one, <laughs> yeah. I would try and tele telepathically reach out to the one closest. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I believe it's one within five feet. Right. Uh, ten feet actually, yeah. Oh, ten feet, even mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. And I'd hit him with the old uh, attention. This is glug glug. You must return uh, to the. Did, did I see anything as we came in? Did I see the location? Um, the, you on your way in, you just saw kind of like this big whole tent. Like you see the whole map, and you kind of like no. There's a bunch of tents. There's one big tent. There's like a half, uh, like a half crescent tent. Uh, whatever else that you saw on the way in, but you don't yeah. necessarily know where which one has grub. Where grub grub is. But well, yeah, I'm gonna, could I cast a guidance on Barry? <laughs> you see him step forward and put his hands up. Uh, sticking to his temples for a second before yeah. he uh, 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 um, uh, yeah you can hit him with, hit him with a guidance right so um, yeah so I'm gonna be like yeah this is glub glub um, you must return to the large tent and uh, oil yourselves <laughs> in preparation for a, a great gift I have uh, and uh, to, to give all of you right, uh, right. bring your friends at least four friends <laughs> Uh, no, three friends actually. Don't worry about anyone who might have yeah. gone. Um, right. right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you say you say this. You speak into his mind. Um, uh, give me a persuasion check, and uh, Dora roll a d8, and we will add that onto his persuasion check uh, as your uh, the guidance focuses his mind after the bit oh, of craziness. It's like an influence, influence, influence check. Influence, influence. influence okay. check. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm actually really terrible at this. I'm going to burn my inspiration right now. <laughs> Uh, just to see. Yeah. 14? Hey, nice. 14 plus oh, one. Oh, plus one. 15. 15. 15. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Um, so as soon as you speak into his mind, um, you see him just... 
like he stand, he has like a hunch to him, <laughs> like stands upright, and then he goes, and he just starts frantically gurgling towards all of these, and just like, just starts to run out, just start to run out the door, and he's disappeared. Like, hey, dude, mate, what are you going? And you just see him kind of like shaking. This one here is just shaking his head as this one just runs out. Uh, and there's the door, the light from the door opens, and then he kind of goes, and you see him kind of uh, disappear off into the distance as uh, he just followed your command oddly easily is one little note that you definitely clock from that is they seem these these frog people specifically these ones are very very much more mindless is what i'm also going to let you glean from that little moment here um uh, but uh as he's kind of, this this frog frustratingly like uh, just, just lets him go uh go go find those boxes go get to the back check the check the sacrifices and this one starts to head over that direction as well what are y'all doing <laughs> Um, I want to fight. Yep. Y'all are just y'all charging out. They, he got out, and you see the door open. The door I mean, if I can, I'll try and find my weapons. But that's yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah, all got your weapons uh, as y'all were kind of all you know in this little bucket and all. However, y'all uh, uh, moved around. The little frog guy still unconscious. Um, but yeah, is, you see, you see this frog uh, kind of starting to walk over here, inch by inch, and these guys are kind of starting to make their way, make their way over to check out what what the heck was going on. Okay, I'm gonna charge in. Back off a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, there she goes. <laughs> yeah, there she goes. I want to charge in with fists flying or fists with a flying. big right, leaping so. kick. <laughs> Whoa! And in that snapshot, we're gonna roll for initiative. All right. So, uh, how initiative works in DC 20? Um, you're gonna make an attack check or a spell check. They're the same check, right? It's the same plus four modifier. Um, this is your initiative roll. You're making an attack check. So it's a D20 plus four. And how it works is you guys are actually going against an initiative DC. I'll tell you right now, the DC for this is 18. If anyone beats an 18, your team goes first. And then- All oh, right, 23. After that. 23, uh, nice. 20, 23 nice. for me as well. So I I'm need seven. to know- Nice. Wait, we had double 23s? Yeah. Well, for who? Um, Merrick and um, Barry. Merrick and Barry. Barry. All right, Merrick and Barry, uh, <clears throat> which actually uh, is is interesting in, in DC twenty initiative. It's you guys go and you're trying to beat the initiative DC. You did, so your team goes first. But something really nice about you rolling the same initiative is y'all share the same position in initiative. So actually, y'all both get to go first, which is a rare thing to happen because normally it would be you guys go, bad guys go, you guys go, bad guys go. But since y'all tied, mm -hmm. um, you actually get to both go first, which is a nice little benefit. Uh, and then it's gonna be the bad guys. And then who's next highest after the 23? I was a 17. 17 and Dora? Uh, 14. 14, okay. So we have Ariana and then another bad guy and then Dora in the rear. Uh, how fitting with all the stickiness. Um, so yeah, starting things <laughs> off, uh, uh, Ariana's like, let's go. And they char charge out there and Merrick and Barry, Merrick and Barry, y'all y'all see that you see the call from Ariana jumping the gun and what do y'all do? It is a shared initiative with both of y'all. And this is y'all's first turns in DC 20. Let's go. So you each have four action points, whatever y'all want to do. And y'all can kind of do it at the same time. Uh, or you can have, you know, one person go and then the yeah. next or however you want to do it. So who wants to go first? And or both. Uh, uh, can, can Mary get past me or do I, will I need yeah. to move to? Allies can move past. through each other. You can't share the oh, same okay. space, but you nice. can move through each other for free. As Which far is, as in that, not difficult to run. Is, is, if I can see this guy, I don't need to move then. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, wicked. I'm going to stay here. Do you, do you want to move? I'll kind of like, I'll kind of like, you know, lean back, let you pass and let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I guess um, I am going to move forward. So mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So I, I can move three spaces. I'm a little short guy. I got oh, stubby legs. So that's one, right. Two, three. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to, if I want to get within melee range, I'm going to have to burn two AP. Mm-hmm. Wait, I can help with that. Um, you can? As, as, yeah, yeah. As you run forward, I will start with a... Is a telekinesis... Is that a... Is that an attack, does that count as one of my attack rolls for the turn? A telekinesis... A pop. Yeah, it would be a spell check. Okay, that's mm -hmm. the first spell check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, sorry, these are. I'm just really making sure I got this. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, I, I'll start with a telekinetic. Um, I'm just going to try and... I think I can oh. grapple and then spend an additional... And then, I can grapple and spend mm -hmm. an additional one to shove it, right? Is that correct? Yeah, so how, how uh, Scions can do 
uh, grapple maneuvers with their mind instead of their body, right? So you would make a spell check to grapple him, and then you would have him grappled, and then you can start to just throw. You can you can throw him from that that position as well if you want to throw him towards you. Um, you also uh, you do know as well just to kind of also throw this out there and showcase another little segment of DC twenty is if you wanted to move three spaces. So I'm going to move you one, two, three. You could get to right here, Merrick. Uh, if you wanted to move there. And then that's one action point. You could say what you want to do with the rest of these, and this is how held actions work in DC 20, is you can declare what these are and then spend your action points now and almost create your own trigger for to spend them. Now, if that doesn't happen, if the trigger doesn't happen, then you can't do that. But you could right. say, uh, I'm going to stab him and do a debilitating strike and pump it for one damage as soon as he gets in melee range with me. And he's on his way here. He looks like he's probably going to do that. You could do that. Um, it's, it's another option there for you, if you if, unless you want to see how where this uh, telekinesis uh, situation is. You going. know, the, the telekinesis situation sounds fun. Let's see how this, how this goes. Let's see how this goes. All yeah. right, cool. So go for it, Barry. Uh, give me a, give me a spell a check. One action point spell check to kind of grab a hold of him. So this is just the first <clears> one. <throat> um, first action point. I'm going to spend an additional action point to give myself advantage on this. So I will say, so, just as a oh, go for it. I have a question. It. Yeah. Um, are Are you trying to grab the the frog guy, or are you trying to grab me? I was going to grab the frog guy. Yeah. Um, to make sure that he, he to make him wind up in a space adjacent to you, so you could uh, get stabbed. Um, mm -hmm. was my plan. Yeah. But I would listen okay. to. I'd, I mean, I'm here for you if you want to call someone out. I'm listening. Well, so, so I mean, but th that's got to have a say. But I mean. Would he be able to move me if I'm a willing target without a save? You can grapple and throw an ally. You can. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's probably <laughs> because they can You're choose right, willing, yeah. You can choose this Throne. fail. You're going to so, have to toss me. Oh, okay, so gosh. in that case, this is can, like a can mental I take, fastball can I, special. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah for real. Let's, let's can, throw I back the, can I take back the advantage because it's going to be yeah. free? So yeah, yeah. one one to grapple and then one to throw. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I love this. I love this. Do and, you wanna just... Oh my gosh! Another thing I just realized. This has never happened before. I just got excited. Um, uh, you don't have to even make this spell check. Like you grapple him. You spend an action to grapple your ally, and you feel the mental forces, which I'm assuming y'all have done this before in the past adventurings. Uh, you feel this like tightness around you as you kind of like feel a little bit lighter, and you know it's about to happen. Uh, and yeah, so you spend one action point, Barry, to grapple Merrick. <laughs> as I'll even say Merrick first, since y'all share an initiative, this is why this is so crazy. Merrick spends one action point to move to here, as uh, Barry spends one action point to grapple, right? And now give me your spell check to throw him. Can I take the? Oh, I suppose no. I should. That was an advantage, wasn't it? I'll just roll it again, just as normal. Yeah. And he's uh, also choosing to fail this roll as well to be thrown. So this is this is wonderful. It's a twelve. That one just a twelve. Flat twelve. Cool. Um, so twelve. You you throw the target uh, a number of spaces equal to half your might. In this case, well, actually, prime for you since you're using your your mind. Might. Um, yeah. So two spaces um, plus one for each space uh, that they failed by, and your ally failed absolutely with a zero, right? Technically, and so that's two more spaces. So you can throw him four spaces of movement, as nice. you can just send him. Uh, you can even throw him to the big guy if you want, or the little tree frog over here. So where do you want to throw Merrick? I, I, I would know Merrick quite well. Merrick, are you a, are you a daredevil type who wants to be in the middle of everybody? <laughs> Or would you rather just be on the side for now? Like, do you want to be surrounded, or do, do you want me to get you in the thick of, uh, like, or off this. on the sides, like over here? Uh, I, I, I think I would rather be um, just like in the front. I don't necessarily want to be surrounded. Uh, you know what? Actually, fuck it. Put me in the middle of it. Um, I'm gonna try to sweep these guys. Nice. nice. Okay. I love. I'll it. throw throw Merrick to here. Nice. Um, and that's two action points from used. So now I'm going to ask you a real quick question here, though, and you don't necessarily you don't know how this rule works. And I'm purposely not going to tell you yet. Um, do you want to throw him into one of them? <laughs> like, I did kind of want to do that. Yeah, it just felt rude. You can. Uh, you, so you oh, can throw him into this guy. What? They're doing get help. Oh, get yeah, help. get oh, help. Exactly, yeah, exactly. well practiced. Yeah. yeah. Help! Oof. He comes flying out of the cave. Um, so, do you want to throw him into the big frog, the big old frog tank, and then uh, have some interesting little fastball special stuff going on? I yeah. would like to. Yeah, good. let's okay. see how it goes. So, how how damage, how collision damage works in DC twenty is every space that you don't move 
that you should have moved because you had space to throw is one damage. So if you had four spaces worth of throwing and you throw someone point blank into a wall, you would deal four points of damage to them. Uh, but Merrick here, uh, you have travel one space, two space, and out of the four spaces, he only traveled two of them. So you're basically sharing two damage between this guy and Merrick, right? Uh, so you would have you would be dealing two damage on, on impact. But since two creatures are sharing damage, they split it. So there's two rules in one. Collision damage, which is damage to the spaces you don't move. And share damage is you split it between them. So Merrick and this frog thing take one point of damage as you <laughs> chunk him in there and collide. And Merrick, uh, just because this is a six fastball special, I'm going to give you advantage on this attack coming out of nowhere in this way. So yes, Merrick, you do take one point of damage. And this frog takes one point of damage. Uh, but you're going to have advantage on this next attack uh, coming in right here. So that is one action point for Merrick to run into position to then have Barry grapple him and throw him across the room. Uh, what's the rest of this looking like for you guys as y'all starting things off with a bang of some crazy, crazy rule combos here? I love it. All so right. what do you do? All right. So I've got three action points. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> so I want to do my uh, my sweep attack. Mm -hmm. So... Do I need to do uh, just a base attack for one AP and then power yeah. it up with a sweep? Yeah, okay. exactly. And then um, we're going to go just with, let's go for broke. And can I can I also add my power attack to yeah. effect? On, yeah. And it's just one of the targets. Yeah, the power attack <laughs> affects one of the targets, yes. So you are making okay. an attack check at advantage because of the whole <laughs> fastball special get help situation. Right. Um, and then you are doing a sweep maneuver, which deals an extra damage to an adjacent target uh, if your roll is high enough, and you're dealing an extra damage to your primary target. So give me your attack check with advantage, and then Barry, think about what you're doing with those last two action points. All right, my um, attack check. Sorry, I, it might gonna... matter for how much damage you deal. So I'm just okay. going to double it. If I daze someone, does the rogue deal extra damage? Is that correct? No, daze yeah. is a min on mental mental checks and stuff. So okay, that's fine. Guy's not it doesn't matter. Mental check. Yeah, good call. Okay, cool. Um, I was just going to say, Steve, you could, correct me if I'm wrong, Alan, mm -hmm. uh, spend, instead of your final action point for power attack, you could instead spend your stamina, right? Stamina? This is true. Stamina. This is true. Stamina. Yeah. This is true. Um, um, so you'd still have one action left if you wanted, I think. You, you could, and you could also uh, uh, spend the stamina to do a debilitating strike as well if you wanted to apply a condition to this tanky frog boy, if you wanted to do yeah. that. That's a, that's a good point as well. All right, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Um, so my, uh, my attack roll with advantage came out to 23. Nice. So I rolled a 19. Okay. okay. Um, and then... And what are you doing went... with that extra that stamina point do you want to spend it uh do you want to spend it to do one of those things to have an extra action point left over or do you want to spend it in a debilitating strike to pump it so if those who don't know uh martial characters have stamina points and he has one stamina point you can use them to pump up your attacks like he's doing with his attack or a rogue specifically can use them on a debilitating strike to add an expose or a hinder or a slowed condition so uh what are you thinking what are you thinking merrick yeah, let's go ahead and do the debilitating strike. So I'll, I'll burn okay. my stamina point. Yep. And, and I, I want a physical to... save and fail. So what condition are you applying to this guy? I want to apply the exposed condition mm -hmm. to the big tanky guy. Gotcha. So a next attack on him has advantage. Um, actually, attacks on him have advantage, if I if I believe the rogue's debilitating strike. So he is now exposed Ooh. from this flying sword. Uh, <laughs> flying sword man just flies through the air. Uh, crashes into him. A 23 to now now show how damage works in DC 20. This is the first damage dealt. In the first wild turn, by the way, this double wombo combo turn to kick things off with. Wow. Uh, as you fly through the air, so a 23 to hit. Uh, what is the base damage on your weapon? I believe it's two. It is two, yeah. Two. So base damage is two. 23, this guy's armor class is 15. You, you beat the armor class by five, and every by five deals an extra point of damage. So that's a heavy hit on this guy because you beat his armor class by five. Uh, so that's three damage, plus you did a power attack uh, for that whole situation, bringing it to four damage. Uh, and uh, he's also now exposed, which is a separate thing. So you deal four damage to this guy, uh, bringing him up to five total damage taken. Uh, and he is now exposed uh, to the next all next attacks against him. Uh, and that is Merrick's turn. Barry, what are you doing? Yeah, you I'll, I'll follow up. up with a... Um, yeah. 
a, a mind blast and I'll pump my final AP to deal an additional plus one psychic damage. So this would be a disadvantage because mm-hmm. I've already made one check this turn, but it's an advantage. So it's just yeah, yeah. flat D20. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, I almost forgot about the sweep, the sweep maneuver that you did uh, there as well, Merrick. So you deal one point of damage to the tree frog next to him as you kind of blast in him. He, he knocks back farther and you, the extra sweep attack deals another point of damage to an adjacent creature because uh, your roll was high enough to beat its defense as well. So that's one, one damage to the tree frog. Um, and what was your spell check, uh, Barry? 19. 19, 19 nice. on the big frog. 19 uh, on, the, on the big tanky boy? The one that's just been hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Gotcha. Yeah. And um, uh, nice. And that is, uh, you said you pumped it for damage? I did. So that's two psychic damage as I like bl- mind blast him. I'm so, going to fill him. He remembers the time he called his teacher <laughs> mum in school. And it's just like, <laughs> mom. Did, <laughs> and and how that looks then with that beautiful beautiful little twist there is uh y'all already dealt five points of damage to him that was two points of psychic damage but your 19 beats his low mental defense and makes it a heavy hit as well for three psychic damage as he goes Mom! and he his like little frog ears start to bleed as the gaping wound and his little croak croak uh fluff sack as the sword pierces it Mom! as he just crumbles down to the ground. Uh, and yeah, in one absolutely wild wombo combo, uh, you guys double team and drop this dude. <laughs> Both yeah. nice. nicely nice. done. Nice. Uh, nice. So uh, now <laughs> it goes to the bad guy's turn and uh, how this works as well. Uh, I usually, since this is a play test, I'm describing and explaining some stuff as well. Uh, the dungeon master now gets to choose. The game master gets to choose who goes next for the bad guys. Uh, and I get to strategically or role play wise or whatever makes the most sense. I was going to have this guy go first, <laughs> but y'all absolutely killed him. So uh, nope. Uh, so now someone else is going to go first. It's a little tree frog situation. Uh, but then after the initiative order is set, it stays that way for following future rounds. So there's that. Uh, the tree frog uh, freaks out a little bit, sees Merrick flying in here, and he's gonna sh- he's gonna throw this strange, uh, goopy little like bola. It's like a bola, but there's like s- little sap sacks, no, like leaves wrapped goop. around with more goop. Yes, <laughs> as Ariana yells, "No more goop!" You no. see two goop balls as he's going to throw. Uh, spend two action points to throw a uh, a, a goop goop bola is what it's called. Um, and that's a natural 20, natural 20 against Merrick here. Um, so uh, I need you to make a physical save and good luck because you're saving against that. <laughs> that, 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 uh, that can, can, I, can I use my inspiration die on that one? Yeah, you totally can. You totally All can. Right. You got you to gotta beat a, a, a 24. <laughs> you know what? It might happen. Hey, you know what? You absolutely could. It's it's not gonna. Okay. I rolled a nine total. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was that was two action points. It normally would deal one poison damage, but what does a twenty four to hit uh, look like for Merrick here? <clears throat> uh, twenty four hit with that bola. Um, I mean, Brutal. this thing's just gonna like hit him in in the middle of 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 his body, and because he's small, so the length of this thing just kind of go woo, 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 and then smacks him right in the head <laughs> well i'm also saying what is that a hit brutal hit heavy hit like what's the level of hits for, for oh, damage oh gotcha well? <laughs> mechanically okay mechanically what like? yeah I that's love the that's description what, though that that um so he's got a physical defense of 13 yep. so i i think that's that's Ooh. definitely a brutal hit yeah, so uh, so on and on the character sheet DC twenty, there's a your defense, a heavy defense, a brutal defense to be able to show the full spectrum of how much hits is for. So brutal hit means the one poison damage turns into three poison damage, and it's a critical turns into five poison damage as this goop goop ball splashes right into your head and double bursts as Ariana has this flashbacks of goop and you see the goop no, just pour goop. down his face. This one stings a bit more. This one hurts a lot more as it's like sizzling and you hear a sizzle uh, around him. Uh, you are also gooped in, in kind of stuck in place. You are grappled to the floor as this thing kind of swallows you whole down to the floor as you are just covered right. in this poisonous goop. Uh, and, and, and you say that was five damage? Five poison damage, yeah. All right, so that's gonna that's taking me down to negative one. So yeah, Merrick <gasps> is... Whoa. Wait, I'm um, conscious. Death threshold. Dang. All right. Wow. So we get to show this off now too. So in DC 20, uh, 
if, if you hit zero hit points, you enter death's door. So on death's door, you only have one action point. Well, luckily for you, you just did your whole turn come flying in there to then get showered with poison. Uh, and uh, if you get to negative three hit points, you're dead. So uh, Merrick is in a rough spot right now, uh, right next to this other little uh, grung creature here, uh, or sorry, croaking creature here as well. And <laughs> as, <laughs> wait, what did I just say? Uh, yeah. And at this point, the frog creature sees Ariana uh, and just starts to uh, starts to bolt. You see him start to go one, two, three, and he gets, a, he gets a, you still see he's just right about there as he starts to now run uh, away. And that is, the, that is the, that frog's turn. And Ariana, it's your go. All right. Well, let's see. I've got five movement mm -hmm. with unarmed move speed. So one, two, three, four, five. I don't want this guy to get away, so I'm going to mm -hmm. spend a second. You see a closed point. door right here. There's a d double, like two, two wooden doors that are closed. Okay. Yep. So that's two action points here now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start this fight in bear stance. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, oh, okay, yeah. So that's just going to do more damage if I get mm -hmm. uh, a heavy or a brutal or a critical hit. Mm -hmm. And if I miss an attack with an unarmed strike, then I get advantage on the next one uh, before the end yep, of yep, yep. the turn. Love so it. I've got two two APs left. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make an attack against him. Go for it. Um, and let's see. Do I want to try to... He's a tiny little frog, and you also notice yeah, I only have he only had three action points as well, just for the for okay. the record to kind of show some stuff. So he is a so, tiny little frog, and yeah, go. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm just gonna make I'm gonna make this one attack. Yeah, and it's an 18 plus four, so 22 to Oof, hit. 22 to hit is a brutal hit on this little Woo. bitty frog. Okay. So brutal. So that's gonna be one for bear stance, two two for my unarmed strike. Right. Plus one more for bear stance. Because you got a heavier brutal. Yep. Because I got a heavier brutal. And then, and then brutal does two more. Yes. So uh, that's so five. five points of damage. Exactly yeah. one shots this little frog. So what does this look like as nice. Ariana sees this? So frog yeah, I just come like running in and I just like jump into the air <laughs> with like a flying kick and just hit him and like, like smash him against the wall <laughs> or against the door that is. Yeah. yeah and just yeah. tumble to the ground. Nice, nice, nice. Um, and you have one more action point. Now that gives me... Yeah, that gives me one action point left. But I spent, uh, I, what did I spend? Like 20, I don't remember how much. Oh, I, so you, you still for. have, you should still have two spaces of movement left. So just two. Mm -hmm. So I'll move up these two. Now, can I throw a, a, yeah. a shuriken? Yeah. It's, it, well, it's a, it's a, let's see, it's five, five or 10 range. Yeah. So five. Easily gets this uh, Without having disadvantage. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the fact that Merrick is kind of between us isn't going to well, be a problem. He's going to be slumped he's to the floor cover. on death's door. So he's kind oh, yeah, of just all right. buckled over. <laughs> so I think, it, I think Merrick's okay. absolutely fine. So, yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll throw one of my uh, Shuruk in here. Gotcha. Um, Adam. So that is a 11 to hit. 11, 11 to hit is a miss on this guy. Uh, as you, okay. he kind of just like ducks down and kind of matches Merrick's body position. As Merrick's hunched over, and this frog's also already hunched over, uh, not able to get him, being careful not to hit Merrick, who's super in a rough spot. And that okay. is that's, my turn. that's your turn done. Um, and then uh, it brings us to this this uh, this grung uh, situation right here, who is looking. <laughs> he's just freaking out. He's absolutely freaking out. Uh, looking at his dead ally, uh, looking looking all over the place. Uh, and he is, uh, as y'all saw before, absolutely mindless, and is just going to try and bolt out of here. So he is going to spend all of his turns to uh, all 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 three of his action points uh, to move. So that's. One, two, difficult terrain for Merrick being there. Uh, uh, actually, no, he's just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and he's just mindlessly sprinting out of this thing to try and get to this door. Uh, does provoke an opportunity attack from you, Ariana. Okay, uh, it wouldn't from Merrick as well? Or uh, well, actually, yeah, you know what? One. This is true, it would provoke an opportunity attack from you, Merrick. You have one action If you action wanted to point. use this one action on... You, have yeah, one you know, I mean, point. I... I don't know what else I, I would be doing in this situation, but uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and go do that attack. Yeah. So that's uh, I am on death's door. That's my excuse for rolling a seven. <laughs> <laughs> As he starts to take off, and Ariana, if you want to make a shot, give it a shot. Can I can I use 
stamina points yeah. on opportunity attacks. Oh, um, you can't use stamina points, but you can use uh, more action points if you wanted to as well. Oh, I can't. Yeah. So, like for example, I could try and do a trip maneuver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It would cost me three. Yeah. I think it cost me three actions, right? This is because pretty... trip costs two, uh -huh. and the attack itself costs yeah. one. But you absolutely. Yeah, that's a pretty such good situation. Let's go for it. it. All right, so give me attack check. Um, okay, so attack check. Gosh, uh, oh, can I, oh, I, I have to say that I'm yeah. going to use inspiration before I roll, right? Well, before, you can roll after. and you can, add, you can add inspiration specifically, yes. Everything else uh, you have to do okay. beforehand. Inspiration. I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> and didn't do much better. Uh, that was an eight hit. <laughs> eight total? Uh, this guy yeah. gets, this guy got a nine uh, for the, for the problem oh. situation and you missed the attack. So, uh, he gets to hear misses the attack. Oh, he's just so flailing and uh, flapping all over the place. He gets to hear and he gets all the way up to, uh, up to this door and he is at the door. Uh, and that is Dora's go now. Okay. I will do, uh, one action to move within sight. Mm -hmm. Um, or... Can, how is the a diagonal movement? How does that work? Uh, here? Is all there... one. All one. Okay. Yeah. Um, one, four. Okay. So I'm going to do a heal. Uh, hey. So that costs me two action points yep. and one mana point. But I also mm -hmm. want to do my uh, prayer of um, healing, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Prayer restoration. Yeah. 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 Restoration. Yeah. So it'll make my, my healing spell uh, stronger. Even more. So. Gotcha. And that would be basically all my actions, right? Because the prayer... Yeah, so you did one action point to move, one action point to pray before you cast the heal, uh, which also spends a mana point. So that's that's another mana two point mana, to do yeah. the prayer. Uh, and then you spend two action points to do a heal, like a super-powered heal. Uh, also keep in mind, one thing I will say is, is he only has five total hit points, right? Yeah, yeah. that's my max. Uh, so you have but five. He's, at, he's at minus one, though, right? This is true. This is true. Yep. This is true. So yeah. you're going to be able to add three. So you 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 have a real shot at getting them to full, 100 full health here. So yeah. uh, let's do it. So give me a spell check. The, 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 my healing power is all or nothing. Okay, it's just the, the <laughs> mighty power of Dora, and uh, I have to do a check. Spell check. It's a DC 10, I believe. Spell check uh, for the heal. Plus four, I believe. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. nice. So um, twenty so total. So I passed it. So mm -hmm. let me see. Let me see if I if I get this. Yeah. Um, heal. So I passed this by a couple of. You passed the. You beat it by a, ten. It was a brutal heal. A brutal heal. A brutal exactly. heal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So heals so by an extra two. Mm -hmm. so oh, this is gonna be a lot. So because I'm touching you. So normally uh -huh. I heal for three because uh -huh. I'm touching you. I heal by an extra one, so that's four. I because I brutally one. healed yeah. you, that's an extra plus two, so that's yeah. six. Uh, yeah. So I guess I didn't need my blessing. Do I choose? Can oh, I? You can choose not to use it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. You still yeah, have so... it. You still have that blessing on you that you're choosing not to use because right. you just absolutely uh, healed for a ton there. I love that. Uh, also, yeah, another thing, if y'all didn't catch it, what uh, uh, Dora just said is heal. The heal spell heals for a base of three. But if you're touching the target, it heals for one more because you're touching, which is basically combining, uh, you know, the two healing spells of cure wounds, wounds, and, cure wounds and uh, healing word, healing word together as one. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, so you full heal Merrick in one moment here and you still feel the presence of your of your God guiding your hand is uh, you are back to full health Merrick <laughs> in one. Hell yeah. One big Dora moment. You uh, saved me from the so goop and I'll save you from death or even. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for me. And bring us right back to the top of the lineup with Barrick and Mary. Or, uh, Barry and Merrick. <laughs> we're, we're, we've got one of those those couple names. So uh, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. Very, very, you can call us Barry. Yeah, yeah, Barry. Um, it feels very Pippin and Merry. It does. Uh, it does. The Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I, I, I I've just seen like last time I threw uh, Merrick at someone, they they like literally nearly died. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna do it again. <laughs> if I go one, two, this, three, this is four. our thing. This is like our yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You, you guys really need to get You got thing. this. I'm a deeply good person, and I'm gonna uh, two action points to throw Merrick right yeah. at this. Um, it's this one. It's the bottom one, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And how, do I need to roll the spell check uh, so, to see how far I throw? Um, so I would even say here, uh, you always stayed within five spaces of Merrick. And Merrick never moved. So I'm going to rule that he is still grappled by your telepathy. You threw oh, him great. into that spot and he's still yeah. there. So you, <laughs> and you never broke the five foot 
uh, yeah, so, sweet. So I can just still have a hold of the Merrick. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll uh, yeah, I'll kind of like plunk him down and then uh, th- like just eat him across the room. So so I make a spell check to to throw. Don't yeah, I? yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, ooh, come on. Twenty one. All right. Oh, big money. Nice. So normal base is two spaces that you normally can throw somebody half of your prime, which is two. Uh, and then plus four for that because he willingly fails. Uh, you throw him six spaces. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, right to the frog. So you huck yeah. him down the wall and boom. Uh, <laughs> Good thing he got healed to full. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. I can do it about five more times. So going yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So uh, friendly tossing him through the air and everything. So there's not impact damage. You don't hit a wall. Uh, if you hit a wall that you would take damage, uh, the remaining spaces like we talked about. But uh, throw him right to there with a friendly throw. And Merrick, you are now in position to get this frog before he gets out. All right. So <clears throat> with my four action points here, let's see. Mm-hmm. I have because no you used an points. opportunity attack. Or wait, Ooh, yeah. yeah, how does that work? So yeah. so if you go from death's door mm-hmm. to not on death's door, mm-hmm. like b- before your turn, you know what right. I mean? So, like uh, you were only supposed to have one action. Right. So you, he had four action points. He got brought to death's door, which basically doesn't mm-hmm. take his action points. It just sequesters them, if you want to call it that. Oh, okay. So you have access to one. So he had access to one, and then he used it to attack. Right, and then okay, so I've he got, got healed back up, so he still has his three available. Oh, so you're 100 percent right on the three and how that works with Death's Door. Love that. I've never been able okay. to showcase that. I love that. Um, All right. So you have three action points. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna make an attack roll here mm-hmm. against him. Um, what you what you're doing with the attack with the three action points? You could just make a regular question. attack. You always could. Yeah. Um, I don't need to sweep. And I would even say like, like these guys are pretty little, they're pretty shitty little frogs. Like they, these ones yeah. specifically. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to roll a straight attack here. Yeah, um, yeah I think that would be appropriate. I'll, I'll probably even do it twice because I'm dual wielding. I'm, I might this as well, true. you know, take advantage yeah. of that. So give me one attack right, so check. Straight. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> what's so All funny right. is in that, in dc20 whenever you roll a natural one on an attack check uh, or spell check in that way uh you become exposed so you, you're exposed now uh but sh- <laughs> in this case doesn't matter but uh very fitting right. for merrick after what's gone uh, happened with merrick so give me your second attack check all right <laughs> come on and because he's dual wielding it doesn't have disadvantage normally attacks have okay. stacking so that, that is a a 21 21 to hit so that's a base that's a brutal so base two damage goes to four damage total and how does it look as merrick kills this frog after all of the struggles that merrick has gone through uh what does it look like uh he he you know he's he's been hucked across the room um and i you know i'm gonna kind of say he 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 lands on this guy and just starts stabbing him in the back just brutally because I mean, Merrick, Merrick is not a, he's kind of a, a powder keg for a little, he's got a little man syndrome. So there he's just go. angry as all hell. And he's taking his frustrations out on this tiny little frog. And both frogs are done. And that is the combat. Combat is lifted. Um, you guys are now in this little cave. You've been talked about uh, that you were going to be sacrificed to Grub Grub. Um, and you're in the back of this cave, you know, in general, and you have access to the map to kind of like zoom out and see kind of what the map looks like. If you if you want to kind of think about that, as you did kind of see it in the haze of of that. Um, and yeah, what are you guys doing? I got a plan. Boys <laughs> and, and Ari. I, I can grapple two people at once with my mind. I say <laughs> we take two corpses. We link ourselves by rope. And I pop at them, leading the pack and behind, weekend at Bernie's style, and we walk it's right weekend out. Weekend at Berries. Weekend at Berries style. We we walk right out. It'll look like they're leading us. They'll be you know, I can do <laughs> that. I believe. Here's, here's the only oh problem. Gosh. We don't know where Grub Grub is. It might look suspicious if they're leading us back to uh Dora's uh, home. Um if if instead we're supposed to be going to be sacrificed. Good point. Flawless plan. Hey. Otherwise, though, <laughs> uh, I can I mean, commune with my God, ask him the question to see if our path is true. 
and they might tell us whether we're screwed or fucked. Yeah. All right. Is there a yes. third option? I say <laughs> we find this grub grub guy who wants to eat us, and we just stab him till he's no longer a problem. I will ask my god that. I cast augury. <laughs> oh, ancient dwarvish gods! Pray tell me! Do we have the power to stab Grub Grub? If we do that, is it gonna go okay? <laughs> okay, okay. So I'll give you this in two two versions. One is a meta version, just for the concept of this one shot and how you could attack it in two different ways that y'all have actually beautifully showcased both ways. Uh, What's about to happen here is a branching path. One is get the heck out of here uh, through this camp of frog people. You do know that there is a lot of them. Uh, get the heck out of here. And the second one, and I would even say that because of this augury used in this way, uh, this is where you glean this information from, is these frog people view Grub Grub as their god. If you kill Grub Grub, they would now worship whoever killed Grub Grub as their god. So... The options that you have here, which are both equally, well, it would be difficult to kill Grub Grub. I'll tell you that, the, 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 how hard that would be. It's a big frog monster is all you would know. Uh, and oh, you either kill God, Grub Grub and become the god of the frog people, which would be more difficult, but possible. Uh, or you get out of the camp. And I'll even say from the full picture is if you get out of the camp, if all four of your character's bodies are outside of the camp, it would trigger a escape scene of sorts and that would be a, a, the two different ways to kind of uh beat this uh a a bit weekend at bernie's method would help get y'all a little closer possibly before the jig is up to freaking get out of there or uh take down the big frog monster so it is y'all's call i love it I, go. I i i think i think taking out uh the boss might not only solve our problem today but could potentially help your people, Dora, for generations to come, right? Just like my own gods, they killed their own grub grub and became gods. So shall we! <laughs> there you go. I can plus, use a frog cult. Yeah. Plus, it lets I, us it, it it lets us use that fantastic uh, weekend at Bernie's uh, idea. Um, we just to get to... closer to <laughs> grub grub. Right, right, right. So that, yeah, so we, we would get led to... to him. Yes. All exactly. we have to do right. is just throw Merrick at it. <laughs> but the, the only problem, problem is we, we still don't know where he is. So <laughs> if there was some way that we Wait. could figure that out. Yeah, the, the, the little blue suspicious. guy. Didn't we leave him alive? I'm pretty sure. Right? Uh, oh, I mean, the, I just threw a block of wood at him. Yeah. Was, was that was that non-lethal damage? I don't know if he died. I didn't check. <laughs> it was non-lethal damage. He is, he's, he's just unconscious right now. All right. There's our plan. There There's our plan, boys. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll use that cantrip. Um, I remember the remember the name close wounds. Um, uh -huh. closing. Yeah, close wounds. Close wounds. Yeah. yeah. Um, so right. I'll make the check to see if that works. Ooh, love it. And are you gonna spend your rest point for this guy? Just spending your. Yeah, well, I, guess uh, well, I thought he wounds. would spend his rest point. Or is ah, it? I, well, no, I no, do no. it. For yeah, him. yeah, yeah. I would. I, I will say it's for the best of his interest that he would use his rest point. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, so yeah, you, you kind of sit there. <sighs> Oh, yeah. oh, oh, he just kind of scrambles back, uh, scrambles back against the wall. No, can geez. I, can I go, go. hit him with the befriend cantrip? Ooh, yeah. It's a non, it's a non-optional friendship. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I'll give yes. it a shot. Give it, give oh, it. Uh, actually, it's I don't know. It's non-hostile. I don't know if it counts. Uh, hmm. I'm, um, but yeah, if if, if well, I can, I would like to try. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Hit me. Hit oh, me wicked. with a. Hit me with a, a befriend the situation. Uh, give me a spell check. Is guidance a country? Is that something I can ask for? Can I reach out a tender hand? Oh, and just oh place you, it want, on you want my help right? again? Just place it on your like your face. All the others uh, always need my just, help. <laughs> just all right, but don't on, take my guidance. No, no, you just give it. Uh, is that like a d uh, like d an additional? Uh, Dora d roll a d eight. Oh, Dora roll a d eight. Um, and then um, looking here. Oh my god. Oh, all right. Seven. Okay. 29 oh my to become God. besties. <laughs> you and I are going to be best friends. That brutal bestie. So, yeah. so what is, uh, just so I know what, what uh, this, this little frog man hears, what do you say with this 29? <laughs> what, 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 what do you say to him? Is this oh. trying to become friends? 
Yeah, you, I'm a deeply good person. <laughs> and you and I are going to be best friends. Uh, so, you're friends? Oh, all I ever do is prepare the sacrifices for people. I've never had a friend ever. All the other, uh, the, uh, the, what, do, kid, do you want to go, do you want to go, do you want to go hang out? Okay, it's things like that. Saying things like that is why you don't have friends. Oh. Okay, we, friends shut up and do what I tell them to do. Do, we, do you want to eat some bugs? All right, yeah, maybe later. Okay, that does sound pretty good. But for now, yeah. Um, yeah. can you, what we want to do is we want to find Grub Grub, right? We got yeah, to feed love, ourselves to, we yeah, we do. Grub Grub, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so it, maybe we was thinking you could lead us to Grub Grub. Uh, yeah, because y'all are supposed to get eaten, right? Are your friends at least? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Good. So, so okay with that. You, uh, you finally understand. Because yeah, especially this guy, he points to Dora. He was really fighting it a whole lot there about the whole grub grub thing. It really, y'all seem to have came oh, yeah, around. Yeah, I'm very happy with going to be fed to grub grub. Are you okay? And he puts his little gooey hand on your face like. Can't contain my excitement. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad you talked your friends into it. And uh, yeah, let's, let's head over to grub grub and you guys can get eaten. Except for you, maybe we don't feed him you, Fred. I think maybe just your three friends. Is that? Well, we'll see when we get there, right? He can, I mean, we'll he can, he can, maybe he can, he'll eat you tomorrow. He'll eat you. Yeah, he can, stand, for real. He can stand, should, as a, stand as a witness. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. and I should warn you before we yeah. turn around yeah. that your friends, your friends, <laughs> your, they weren't really your friends. They were traitors to Grub Grub. So no we obviously, way. yeah, for real. So oh. we, you know, did the honourable thing. I, Pop he, their eyes like he, grapes. He comes around the corner like, oh, traitors deserve to die with, if they fought Grub Grub. If you guys are so willing to be sacrificed, why would they have fought you if you're so they, willing? So they were, they were trying to free um, us, if you could believe it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so these, something these about guys, being... they, they were absolutely up to no good. Now, little frog guy, what's your name? My uh, name's Hibbit. Hibbit. All right, so yeah. I don't know about you, but I've never sacrificed myself before. Ah, can you neither. show us how it's? Can you show us how it's done? You've seen this a lot more than we have. Yeah. So the so uh, the the frog Hebeth, Grub Grub, uh, he's uh, he likes the tasty goop goop. So any time that he smells tasty goop goop on a creature, he immediately tries to eat them. So we would just see, I don't, I don't, goop, I don't goop. listen so well. I'm going to have to see it done. Can you show us like I, I need a demonstration oh. from you? I'm sure we could get one of the one of the 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 grunts to kind of do it. The ones that just kind of run around that we we feed them to him all the time. So I could sh I could show. Yeah. And then we'll just do it to you next. You'll be the first one, right? Wonderful. OK, this is wonderful. Yeah. You know, so many more people fight how to how to do this whole sacrifice thing. I really love that you guys have really came around to it. Thank and, you. And and, and I, I think we might need more than one example. But We're I, slow learners. I mean, was I mean, uh, this, this, this way. Come on. What what what, what are we what yeah. are we what are we waiting on? For real. Yeah. No. Let's go. Let's go. Um, okay. So we need to pretend to like bind our hands or anything. Or do we just look like willing sacrifices? What do y'all do? Does anybody have any rope that, that they can uh, tie a slip knot on? Can we find something? Did did, uh, yeah. did the the boss the boss frog there have anything he was planning on like tying us up with? So can around we... this room is a ton of just general supply like ropes and little weapons here and there and boxes and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, and... I'm, I'm pretty good at trickery. I mean, I, I could tie some pretty convincing knots, I think. Yeah. Why don't we, why don't we, uh, in order to get our minds in the right sort of subservient place, uh, tie, tie uh, ourselves up? Um, and real you quick can question. Lead us. What is subserve? What subserve? Uh, it just means that we're willing. Uh, oh, yeah. because, oh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, you just want to get tied up before you get... Uh, well... Yes, yes. Just, just for, for at least. To Honestly, the other guys might kind of get your spooked friends. if you guys aren't tied up. They usually don't like right. that. Right. So. Exactly. Exactly. Like you said, it's not often that you get willing participants. Correct. This is uh, true. So we just want to show that that we are, you know, on board with the whole grub grub eating us. Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess tie yourselves up. Okay. You want some goop? Uh, let's save that for later. Yeah. yeah <laughs> can we have some? Uh, can we have some in like a, a a vial or something? 
yeah. that we could quickly pour over somebody like ourselves. He walks over here and gives you two, two, uh, th or sorry, three balls of uh, goop, goop, goop bolas, basically. Um, so they are, you can throw them five spaces and upon contact, it covers the target with tasty goop goop. And as he's just described, anything that has tasty goop goop on it, the frog monster just can't help but eat. So you have three of these little orbs, whoever wants to have them or spread them around, however you want. I'll, I'll take one. Okay. Yeah, I'm no good with them, fellas. I'll, I'll take another. Okay. Yeah. All right, Maybe. so uh, now real quick, Alan, uh, yeah. and and you might regret this. I might regret this, but uh, the the dwarf, uh, uh -huh. you is it's really cool ability of the dwarf that basically um, I have advantage in effects uh, on saves against effects that come from consuming foods or liquids. Yeah, but yeah. I just give it a little taste. <laughs> they speak about how tasty it is, and I'm, I'm a little. Curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you totally can give it a taste. You kind of like lick it and your tongue like gets it's like licking really old congealed jelly and you just kind of like it sticks to your tongue and you have to almost like swallow it it's so thick um and it just tastes really good there's no sort of weird <laughs> mind messery stuff going on it just tastes like wonderful and if anything i'd ask you to make a save to want to eat the whole thing like you are just it's so tasty it's so tasty so uh yeah you, that's that's what you would gather and you kind of understand why this big frog monster wants to eat it because you just love love this thing um it just tastes wonderful and in, in fact you know just because because you did this and because the dwarf is this way i am going to have you make a uh make a charisma save for me uh at advantage because you're a dwarf like you just said uh and uh we'll see if you eat this whole thing no negative uh, effects you would just lose out on the little <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> because of oh. course yeah natural Thank 20 you. uh you you understand you under, you almost know how, you almost feel like i could make this myself like you know almost <laughs> the, some of the you gather some of the ingredients you know like with those connoisseur people they taste something like mm, cinnamon you know like they just know what's in there so uh yeah it tastes wonderful and you could put this on f food back in your homeland um so uh how do you guys exit this cave <laughs> Just real quick, just like a upkeep thing. I, I just yeah. read the rest of the spell. Um, I would have dropped two mana points on the charm, so uh, Hibbert wouldn't realize he'd been charmed. Oh, after, so um, uh, side note: there is you. You do not uh, since uh, mana spin limit. You can only spend a number of mana equal to your combat oh. mastery, which is only one at this point. So, uh, how long does it say that the befriend lasts? It is actually only for one minute. Okay, so at this point, with this conversation and all this kind of stuff. Uh, it drops, and I'm going to have you make one influence check based on the previous conversation. You, this can be influence animal uh, uh, to see kind of his reaction to like the, him snapping out of it, but then y'all still being friendly, and to see if y'all can still utilize him even after all this information he's given you. So what is that me who's going to make that, or like the group? Uh, well, I, I would say you could get uh, you could get one d8. I'll have the collective group be able okay. to add you one d8. So I'm just uh, very bad at the these charisma things but this i will add this is true uh d8 okay d20 uh, minus one plus let's see oh okay one d20 and this is going to be against the encounter minus. dc of the of the fight y'all are going out into okay nice. oh 18 yes nice. yes yes absolutely uh so um like i said about the encounter dcs for these types of situations is yes that is a check and he's like he snaps out of it like oh my I head got a little, a little weird there. You got, and you see he's confused. We're, we're tying ourselves up. Uh, are you ready right. to lead us? Yeah, mm -hmm. to the to the big tent, big tent, coop. Uh, to grub grub, yes. Grub, and you're the first sacrifice. He points over to Merrick. First one to be sacrificed after the example. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Yeah. Um, and you see frog people, not the most intelligent uh, species here, and he just kind of like goes right along with it. So um, he is going to uh, clear these guys out and he opens up the doors. Uh, and uh, so y'all position yourselves however you need to, um, uh, to be able to be uh, yeah. in, in position for this. Um, and then uh, as the doors open, this is what you see. Let me grab all of these things here. Uh, oh, not that. There we go. Oh, no. I guess I gotta do this one at a time. The also, if open. possible, I, yeah. I would request to be the holder of the goopy bolus if whoever has them would be amenable to that. 
So there's three. Of I them. think. Yeah, I think everyone's got one apart from me. Okay, gotcha. Because yeah. I can't throw can stuff. I, I just gonna yeah. ask for one if someone's willing to. Yeah. Yeah, you've got one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. We we all, we all have one except Will. So you guys kind of make your way to about about to here, and you look out and you see this massive campsite full 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 of these little frog people as they kind of all like look over to you guys <laughs> um and i really love what this whole whole uh stage that y'all have set is so what does each person look like merrick i has said that merrick is doing the trickery to kind of have some fake ropes be weaved in around you guys um barry's already uh got the whole frog person on his side um and ariana and dora what are y'all kind of looking like as y'all are going through here just kind of uh i'm just looking very yeah very downcast and sort of uh, consigned to my fate <laughs> i'm kind of just angry just eating from the bola just like getting a little bit of liquid and just like kind of just angry doing it <laughs> okay all right so uh you all come out here uh and he's just kind of like walks you over this way and all these frog people kind of eye you uh, like like all these frogs around the campfire kind of all turn around you see one of these frogs with like a hood over its head and kind of cower down he has like a staff in his hand kind of gives you a, an, a, 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 an odd eye as he kind of like looks over to you guys um so i'm gonna have this be I'm going to put this on Merrick. Uh, I want this to be a trickery check for Merrick. Is any of the rest of the three of y'all have mastery and trickery? Is anyone else have mastery and trickery? All right. So this is going to be Merrick's trickery check uh, against really the discerning member of this frog people. The most most uh, mentally prowess of them is this guy. So give me a trickery check. Yes. All right, so that's a 16 on my roll, All so right, I have yeah. a plus 7 to trickery. <laughs> oh, that's right, because you're a rogue. And you got, oh, wow. Ooh. I even had, I had an 18, too. So that was, uh, <laughs> uh, you needed high and you got high. So he kind of looks over and eyes everybody. He's like really focusing on Dora for in, in his hands moving and then his angriness. Um, <clears throat> but then he, he catches eye of Ariana's just sad face of just, oh, no. We're going to get eaten. Um, and all of the tied knots, and y'all are all bound together and just very uh, willingly walking over towards this hut situation. Um, so uh, you get about here and he's like, see, look, watch. Um, and he just takes one of these. Uh, he grab, he kind of walks over to this little barrel over here, grabs uh, some some goop that he was going to get from y'all earlier and just slaps it on this guy right next to him. And then out of uh, nowhere, you see this massive tongue just like shoot out of the tent. Um, And you hear this like deep, deep bellow as this big, huge uh, frog hemoth is what I'm calling it, uh, a.k.a. Grub Grub. Uh, And he just starts to kind of chomp down and eat this this creature right here. So. What is everybody doing? Because right now I, it's this <laughs> little gray area that combat hasn't started yet, and you have somehow managed to maybe set up a surprise round of some way. So, what are y'all doing? Um, I I'm gonna talk to the the little um, blue guy. I forgot his name already. Hit I'm it. gonna say, I hit it, hit it. I'm feeling really stupid today. I need to see that example again. <laughs> So this one's gone, okay? Um, <laughs> so so here's here's this. I'm going to give each... This is essentially y'all surprise route because, d- damn it, y'all have earned okay. it. Um, so Merrick, you can you can totally do that. And as far as y'all's, y'all's uh, relationship with um, Hibbit at this point, I'm just going to say you can pick a frog person, one of these kinds of frog people, and the frog, he'll just eat him, right? <laughs> that's, that's where we're at right now. So you can spend that as your, your surprise round to just straight up kill one of these frog people and have the frog hemoth eat him. So love that. Uh, what are the rest of the three of y'all doing? And y'all can I'm, set this I, up as like an, uh, go for an attack or something as well. Yeah. I want to throw, I want to throw my bola at this guy. Ooh. Okay. The, okay. The, okay. Hooded, the hooded guy. Oh, the, the tasty bola. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. And then uh, Barry and Dora, what are you doing? Uh, I'll say, um, uh, because I, I imagine that we're still kind of like at first just pretending that we're with them or yeah. that we're doing this willingly. So like, I just oh, go, I watch. Oh. Yeah, Grub Grub has blessed its food. Oh, it's crazy how that works. And I, I cast bless 
on. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, I'll cast bless on uh, the, like my three amigos. Nice. Um, um, so how bless works is all spells in DC twenty have spell checks because that's freaking cool. So bless has a baseline uh, amount of people, and if you beat the DC, you can get more people. So uh, you might be able to bless everyone if you roll high enough. So give me your bless. Which Ooh, I do. twenty. All nice. four of you. You are concentrating on that. Keep that in mind. Uh, all four of you have bless. So keep that in mind. That is a D4 added to all checks and all saves. All of them. Right? Ooh, I'll um, give it to Hibbit too. He's earned it. I think he deserves to be blessed. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, did, did, we keep him alive. Can you get five? Because uh, I think the base was is... Th oh, it's each 10 is additional. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah okay. just four. So really so th thoughtful count. And I'll even say the magic... Hibbit feels it. If he feels a little something, um, uh, and I love that. And then, uh, so there's all, so that's the bless from Dora. And then, what are you doing, Barry, for your your little? Uh, run I here? think so. I will possibly before the bolus is thrown, if possible. Yeah, I would yeah, like to. Mm -hmm. I would like to cast Bane. Sort of like Ooh. we'll do sort of like a Wonder Twins like yin yang kind yeah, of thing, yeah, yeah, like yeah. with the bless and the bane. Uh -huh. So I'd like to hit Grub Grub, the the the, oh, yeah. the hooded guy, uh -huh. and I think I can target. Well, I make the roll first, yeah, right? Yeah, I yeah. make the roll first. So can I do this Go after the bless? So I add an additional yeah, D4. for sure, for sure. Y'all are y'all earned this little surprise round, so go for it. And do I have action points at this point, or is it just? Uh, so since this is like a, you you have four action points worth of kind of the concept of what you're able to do with the surprise round. So yes, you so do have action be, points right now because that's kind of like two action points plus a, mm -hmm. a mana point, and then I'll, mm -hmm. I'll I'll just spend an additional action point, I guess, to roll two d twenty. Yeah, okay. um, yeah. So um, give me okay. your spell check to see how many people we can we can hit. It's oh, I'm glad. It, well, it didn't make much difference. I got sixteen. Sixteen. Um, yeah. So I think that's yeah. I think that's three. Three targets. I think that's I just three play. people. Yeah. 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 Um, so, so you choose Grub. Oh, oh they, they they make a save though. Um, so Grub 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 fails. Big old Grub Grub. Uh, they're making a mental save, I believe. Is that what it says? It is a mental okay, save. Okay, cool. Um, so Grub Grub fails. Um, Caster Boy over here succeeds. Is he, that with the D? Oh wait, no, no, never mind. Yeah, of course. The D four was plus to me, not minus ten. So, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and so he succeeds, and then the uh, who's your third the guy target? to my north? Yeah, he just fails. the guy directly next to. Him. So the, nice. the the only one that succeeded was this guy now. So both of these guys, I'll slap this on here. I'll put a little purple purple dot on them. Uh, that is Bane on both of them. As the bless hits the four of you, as Merrick is talking to Hibbit, like ah, I think just which one? Uh, go ahead, Merrick. Point at which one you want him to. <laughs> um i'm just gonna point the one right next to grub grub okay yeah that one um oh so okay well i mean uh, bet, i don't know what your your name is but uh just watch this type okay and you see he gets a little <laughs> frustrated okay a little frustrated for the first time look i take this and then i go here <laughs> And he's just really walking you through it. And then I slip it on him and he goes and he sticks his hand back and then, and then eats this one as well. Um, as the bola flies through the air, which will kick off and start off this whole shebang. So give me an attack check on uh, our, our hooded friend so over here. So you're saying we've got our four actions. Can I spend an extra to yeah. get advantage on the yeah. attack? Or, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, did you already roll? I did, and it was terrible. Oh, okay. So yeah, so you roll um, another one. Roll another one. This is your surprise okay, moment. Comes, that's better. Oh, 19. Nice. Okay. Nice. Plus, plus I, I rolled my bless already, which was only a one. So it's a 20 plus four, so 24. 24 to hit. To hit. Nice with the bola. Um, so uh, this is the tasty goop goop bola, right? So it doesn't deal crazy yes. poison damage. And the whole point of this is not damage. Uh, it's the effect is what you're going yes. for. So uh he, he's going to make an agility save, and this is how this works. Uh, Y'all are also seeing this used against them instead of yourselves. Uh, he's going to make an agility save for the effect to try and like get out of this uh, to avoid the and That's not going to be enough against a 24. Uh, so he is covered in tasty goop goop uh, as nice. we start combat, and we'll see what that looks like as soon as uh, as soon as we kick off here. So everybody roll for initiative. Uh, roll for initiative. Everybody make me an attack check. Uh, and we'll do the same thing we did last time as y'all kick this off and they realize that you guys are not w such willing sacrifices. Uh, and I'll say that the sound that, that, that starts off this is, wait a second. <laughs> Him, it's just a little confused. <laughs> wait, I thought. And then you hear <laughs> as the combat starts. So oh, and if I if I can just use like my other two actions, then I'll, I'll just move 
um like here and do my blessing of uh, yeah yeah to kind of like go and you kind of like sparse sparse out i see it um so uh that is who, who had the highest did anybody beat a 19 i had 22 who all right so that's nice. ariana all right and after 22 who else is that? who else we got i got a 15 15 15 for dora all right and then who's after 15 oh, no, i'm sorry 11 it's an 11 i'm sorry Okay, so eleven, and still seven after, so seven for uh, nine. So I got a nine. Uh, yeah, nine. So then, so then, uh, Merrick is last. Then, so Barry, Barry, and then Merrick is last with that seven. Merrick. I, I was I was really paying attention to the example that was being given to me. So. <laughs> uh, oh was, yeah, Bola flies over. And, <laughs> you're really playing off that 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 idiot vibe. I love it. All right, so uh, starting off this combat once again uh, is is uh, uh, Ariana and and even even how the how the combat starts off here before y'all 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 took this a whole different direction than I even ever thought possible. Y'all found a third a third option here uh, to fake out and then kill. I was thinking fake out and get out, but no, no, no. Y'all switch, switched it on me. Um, so that is uh, the start of the combat with Ariana. What are you doing? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to run up. Do, do, do. I'm going to surround myself intentionally with these guys here. Oh, no. um, and I'm going to start <laughs> off in mongoose stance this time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is going to let me. So just so that everybody knows what that means, mm -hmm. it says um, your unarmed strikes deal plus one damage when you're flanked. So I'm assuming I'm flanked here. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, when you make an attack check against a target using an unarmed strike, you can make another unarmed strike for free against a different target within your melee range, mm -hmm. uh, just once on each of my turns. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is perfect for that. That's that why I laughed do. so hard. I was like, oh my God, this is literally the perfect mongoose situation, especially with these yes. little tiny murloc, murloc looking dudes. Yeah. So, so I'm going to, so I'm going to assume that this guy is going to get eaten. <laughs> so I'm going to focus on others. So I'm going to make an attack against this guy first. Gotcha. Um, and that's an 18 to hit. 18 to oh, hit. Oh, wait, plus a D4. Uh, ooh, 22 to hit. 22 to hit. 22 to hit is actually, uh, it's over, it's a heavy hit. Uh, and okay. this guy, these guys, as you'll now see, have le three hit points or less and okay. instantly pop so, him and he is dead. done. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to use my free attack on this guy. Yep. Right because there. of Argu's stance, you get a free attack whenever you're sort of flanked like it's, that. Yeah. It's a crit fail with a crit. <laughs> if you add bless, it's two. <laughs> it's a, uh, ooh. well plus four, so six. <laughs> so the free attack, free attack doesn't is, is not good. They they they're on to you. You guys jump in the center. The spellcaster starts to raise his staff as he's covered in all this goop. Uh, you get stuck on him momentarily for this stickiness on your back once again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, gets you the that. Okay, one. so that was still just one action. That's just one action point though, yeah. Because I got a free, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a sweep attack maneuver. Ooh, I'm gonna spend. Yeah. I'm gonna spend a stamina point for it. Okay. So I'm gonna make an attack against a regular attack against this guy. Yep. Um, first off, mm -hmm. so that's a ooh, that's a sixteen twenty to hit. Twenty to 20. hit, and you're doing it as a sweep, right? Because when you do sweep, it applies sweep. this check to the next guy. It applies it to both of them, the single one check against both. Okay. Um, and you now have figured out that they have one hit point as you pop both Ooh. of these. <laughs> okay, so they're both toes. <laughs> and that cost me my second action plus my stamina um, point. Did so you spend one action point to get in there in the first place, to move in there? Oh, yes, yes, okay, I did. So that's Thank three you. action points. So I've got one, so I've got one, one left. left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, now I only, I only moved. Let's see. One, two. Let's Four. see. One, two, three. Three. So yeah. I've got two. I got two moves left. Dang. Um, also, one thing in DC twenty as well. It is not a given that every single monster you ever see ever has opportunity attacks. In fact, spellcasters, okay. player character spellcasters, don't have opportunity attacks. Um, you have okay. to be martially trained to be able to do that quick of a reaction with a weapon, right? So, I would say you would not oh, be and, threatened and, by his opportunity. And, and I should be mentioning for those who are familiar with the system and are wondering why I'm not getting disadvantage on my attacks as I do more and more attacks mm -hmm. every time with monks, uh, if, as long as you're making unarmed strikes, you don't get that stacking disadvantage <laughs> um, as it goes. So you can flurry of blow, like right. it's called flurry of blows right. and mm -hmm. you just, 
get to make much, much, as much, many much, unarmed much. strikes as you want without, which I love. As so has cool. been beautifully demonstrated um, in this circle of So flags. yeah, I'm just she just like flies in. It's just like blah, 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 blah. just like takes all of them out and then i just whip out a, a throwing star and fling it at uh this guy here got it got it got um, it for my final action and that's a 12 plus three plus four so 19 19 19 is just a hit these tanky boys have a bit more on them so that is a hit that okay. is two damage on the, two on damage. the frog boy nice what a turn ariana and love it and I'm gonna just spend my last two feet of move speed to kind mm -hmm. of get. Uh, well, I'll get. I'll get a little closer to this guy. I'm kind of running at him as I. Yeah, throw. yeah. Pa, pa, pa. Gotcha. Um, done. That is Ariana's turn. Nice. Um, and uh, we are gonna go to uh, the these little frog boy uh, tanks right here uh, that they've realized that you have kind of uh, provoked in this way. You cast a spell on one of them, and you're coming to punch this other guy. So these uh, the the croaking tanks are gonna go next. Um, so they are going. This one's gonna attack Barry. He's just right next to him. You're making it real easy for that one. Um, so this guy, um, you're not this or not that. So he's just had this. They have this big little hammer. He's got a big kind of like wooden like little slimy shield on one hand. Uh, and he's got a hammer on the next but you see both of these guys uh as as you're coming in here one's gonna attack this one's gonna attack dora this one's gonna attack barry they take their little hammer stick and they just go wow like put it in their own mouth and then like pull it out as you see this like thick nasty kind of saliva goop on the end of it and they're gonna attack with a uh, a toxin and in, 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 enchanted uh, little uh, bonk stick is what they're called. Um, so here we go. Uh, they are spinning, I, I usually don't say my action points but I, I am for demonstration purposes. So um, making an attack with you, adding some extra little nice goop on there as we have a lot of goop in this little one shot. Uh, and that's all he's gonna spin on this one. Uh, so that's a, a 16 at you, Barry. Is that with the D4 subtraction? Oh, it is not. Um, and that's a four, so that's a 12 coming at you. Oh, it misses. Yeah, it, it comes Dang. up on my shield, my dwarven shield. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, he's and it, you feel it like starts to like starts to erode and kind of like uh, uh, goop out on top of your shield. You see that little whatever saliva is on it. Um, nice bane right there, and this one's coming at you with an eleven only uh, at Dora. It misses. Which I don't think that's going to happen either. Um, so uh, frustrated by this, um, they are going to open up their mouths and and, and you see a tongue shoots out of that same uh, slimy gullet. Uh, so this is going to be a, a both of you make martial checks. Martial check is higher of athletics or acrobatics, whichever is higher. Uh, both of you hit me with that. Um, Barry, I'm coming at you with a 15. I, I have one point remaining for my pre-combat turn it's can i use that here oh so at the end of that you would have your at the end oh i'd get all of them back. back so you get all of them oh, back, right so you do but then i'd have one less next for time. your next year yeah so that's the kind of the, the thing i'll, I'll take i'll risk it i'll risk it <laughs> okay 14 plus yeah. bless oh i can't fail yeah. yeah 16 um, 16 16 beats it by one uh and i'm coming at you dora with a 11. i did uh 18. 18 nope Blah. and you see both of your shields it kind of sticks to your shield and then, oh, oh, and then pull it right back in uh and that that is that is all they're able to do um they only have three action points as we just established as well um and that is their turn and we go now to uh dora that's me uh okay i am going to I'm 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 going to try and cast a uh, guiding bolt on mm -hmm. this froggy boy in front of me. I'll spend uh, an extra action to get advantage on it. Okay. Um, actually, no. Screw it. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do double advantage. Let's go. Ooh. Let's try it out. <laughs> That's um, so funny. What's about to happen? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I already have the the blessing of um, destruction. I think it's called. Yeah, already yeah, yeah. prepped from the last uh -huh, turn. Uh -huh. You're going for a big blast. So as this happens, as the light swells within you uh, from, is it Torg? Is this your, is your God Torg? What was your God's name again? Um, oh, it, it was, I guess, Trug. Trug. From the, okay, yeah, from the yeah. light. Okay, I didn't know. So right. as the light swells within you and your, your, your guiding bolt, where does it come from? Does it come from your hammer? Does it come from your hand? What does it look like? Um, I, my hands are filled with 
sticky goo. And I can't, I feel like I can't, like one hand is just completely stuck to the hammer and I can't, uh-huh. I try to cast it through it. And I just, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I guess I would just use my palm, which yeah, probably yeah. also so, has goo on it. And I'm going to describe this as well then to perfectly fit into what's about to happen here because you've activated my trap card. Um, is you what? pull your nasty sticky goo out and you stick it off of your hammer and you raise it out and the light, the light almost like sizzles off the goop and the goop kind of falls off your hand and kind of starts to float there. And as it starts to stop, it starts to float around and kind of swirl around your arm as you hear like a as this little spellcaster over here is going to initiate a spell duel with you uh this is dc Ooh. 20's version of counter spell uh if a if two spellcasters are within range of each other and they have a spell that would make sense to be able to combat midair he is going to spend two of his action points as a reaction to try and uh, essentially spell duel your magic and kind of counteract it right now so uh what was your total spell check you know gave yourself a whole bunch. That. You rolled a bunch of dice, but you rolled really low here. Yes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I guess my 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 bless. I forgot my plus bless. bless. So I, we were um, rocking a nine. Oops, I left the game on accident. Oh Sorry. well, I, I, I instantly <laughs> win. So the spell cancels, and <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was a three. So nine plus three. We got it. We're, we're so rocking 12. a twelve. We're rocking a twelve here. Okay. Um. So I need to roll a an eight or lower and your spell would fail right now. If I succeed, then that means he spent two action points for, for not right. Um, and that's a two on the dice. That's a two on the dice. So the goop kind of swirls around and kind of sizzles off of you and it starts to like cl- stick back onto your, and you're just tired of this freaking goop. What does Dora yell that he's just so sick of this freaking goop on his body as your spells start to starts to fizzle and you get frustrated, but you power through. What does it look like? Give me more goop! It's so good! And it's, I'm just so upset about it. <laughs> As the goop blasts off of Mask you, off. and then you uh, come at this guy uh, with a guiding bolt to this frog right here. Uh, wow. Uh, so that was it. You succeeded on that spell duel. That frog now loses his action points. He's about to get eaten, but there's that. that's how a spell duel looks right there. Uh, so yes, that guiding bolt is a uh, uh, is target's mental defense as well, because it is holy damage. Oh, um, okay. So I don't have so, to target his 19 AC. You no, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have any. He has, he has less nice. than that, but it, it's, yeah, he had, it's, it's decently high. But this light just engulfs him. It doesn't matter how much, have a shield or whatever he's got. He gets engulfed with light as the light of Torg uh, encompasses him. Uh, and that is going to be a, uh, you only got a, what was that on the total? a 12 just a 12 so it does man. hit still uh yeah. for four damage and he's going to make a save against expose and fail so he is now exposed from that guiding bolt of light that's now uh illuminating him as he's sh- bathing in the light uh and, and a little bit of goop too from the goop explosion Failed. that you had gave from him uh, and you I pour- also had the blessing of destruction so <sighs> i guess that would be like an extra three damage that's another three damage and that's enough to take him down from that from that nice. blessing right there. Love that! Wow, love it, love it. Um, so, how does that look as this as this little frog boy uh, gets obliterated? I feel like I I I somehow threw just duel. threw a spell duel and you killed him. Yeah, just absorb the power from the cloaked <laughs> uh, uh, frog and yeah. then use his his <clears throat> command of the goop. Yeah. against the frogs themselves and it's just all... begin to sizzle like all the goop and um grow the break light. down that like layer of goop so i can get into like its skin and begins tearing down into yes, like scalpel. yes yes yeah oh uh, so it, the, he gets bathed in the light and this guy it doesn't even matter he has exposed anymore he is done uh nicely done there Whew. all right that is dora's turn uh and now we have uh the big boy's turn <laughs> uh so now, because of the bola, he has to, act. he is a monster. He has to do monster things. So right out the gate is this, this, this big guy is going to spend an action point uh, because he has to, as y'all figured out, and just absolutely uh, sloop. And uh, you just see the t- this massive tongue, and you also now know that that's the range of this tongue is it comes out of five spaces to sh- oh, grabs it in his goal. You see it in its mouth a little bit trying to fight. It doesn't instantly die like the other ones do, so it's still in there in some way, shape, or form. Uh, ah, ah, it's like mm, 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 as it kind of still. You still see it like. And it's little like sack of uh, underneath this it's, like, <laughs> fighting and this like glowing magic. It's like it's like, um, but it still has the rest of his turn now. Uh, so 
What, uh, also another thing could to sh pull the curtain back. This frog Hemoth uh, has four action points and three legendary action points. Normally that Ooh. means uh, t t action points that could be spent in between player characters' turns. But in this specific situation, he has a little bit of restrictions that I've placed on when he is allowed to use his legendary action points, which will be a little bit of a, a puzzle for you guys. But it is his turn, so he has access to these points. You don't have access to legendary action points on your turn, if that makes sense, right? Um, so here he's, he's going. He just uh, sucked up that guy, and he's now going for, oh my gosh, the next, uh, the next closest thing that he's going to attack that doesn't have any uh, 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 tasty goop on him is Hibbit. Um, so he is going to, um, make an, uh, make an athletics check at Hibbit. Um, and in fact, just because of the relationship established, I want, uh, Will, can you please make a uh, Hibbit's, uh, uh, check here? You're adding, oh, you're I adding was going to save Hibbit on my turn. <laughs> so I'm making his check for him. Is it, an, yeah. is it just a, it's uh, just a straight a... D20 roll plus two. You gotta oh, beat, boy. you gotta beat an 18. Oh my god. Okay. I wasn't strong enough to bless him. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, don't Bye. feel bad. No, this so guy wanted to feed us to the frog. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't actually your I friend. yeah, but I was you were deceiving oh. him. And, I know. And, and right before Hibbit <laughs> looks around in shock of why these four people that were so willingly going to sacrifice themselves, why are they fighting now? What's going on? And in his last moment, he locks eyes with you, Barry. I thought we were going to have bugs to go and he just gets taken <laughs> into his mouth and, oh, oh, and you just Christ. see he's instantly, instantly done as he's hanging oh. out the side of his mouth. Um, and that's no. a second action point um, for, <laughs> for there. Um, and then the next closest uh, as this is this monster is now in just a feeding frenzy uh, is going to actually be this frog person right here uh, next to him. So he's going to make he's going to just be he's in absolute mo monster eating frenzy. Uh, that's going to be uh, a uh, you actually get to see how this works now. Uh, he successfully tethers this guy. Right. So he is like the tongues on him. Right. Uh, the tongues on him. And then now he's going to spend another action point to uh, actually no. That's what I would have had to do for the last guy. Sorry. Um, action point to do the tongue grapple. Action point to pull him into the mouth. Just for the record. Uh, Hibbit gets a nice little pass because he's just a little one hit point person. And he just got taken. Uh, and then this is one action point and final action point to tether to this guy. So there is a, now a tongue between this guy and this guy. There is a, a, a three space long tongue like stuck to this thing's shield. It's just like, no, <laughs> like fighting this tongue that's stuck to this guy. And that's the end of the frog. He turn. turn. Um, uh, we got Barry. What are you doing? Yeah, like a single tear, like just rolls down <laughs> a cheek. Um, I will use. Uh, I will use two action points to um, roll this at advantage, and I'll drop two more mm -hmm. to uh, into the extra damage roll twice. So, you spin. Wait, spin. Spin what? Oh, sorry, into the Mind Blast. Is, am I right oh, yeah, in thinking yeah. that I can use mm -hmm. two to attack advantage and then I can take the damage, extra damage on twice? Yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're spending I'm a mana point to do d both into damage. Oh, it's a mana point, right? It's not an action point. Sorry, yes. Yeah, because I'm looking at, I'm pulling a Mind Blast right here. So we got, yeah. um, so you can spend, oh, oh, yeah, you can it's an action spend, point. it's an action point. But you can spend a mana point to get two action points worth of enhancements. That's it. That's what I'll definitely further. do. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to spend an, an action point to do it at advance, like to do it, then an action point at advantage, then mm -hmm. a mana point uh -huh. to pick damage twice. I love it. I see it. So action point to do the mind blast, giving yourself advantage as well. And then you're spending a mana point to do damage, damage. Love it. So your base damage yeah. is now three. And then I've got two. Yeah, yeah, I'll do and that. Okay. Give me a spell check at advantage. And I, you're going against, who are you going against? 23. Oh, I'm going against the big guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay The, okay. the, the guy okay. who murdered the, uh, the yeah, only yeah. friend yeah, 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 I yeah. ever had. I love it. Um, I love it. That's a 23 to hit on a mental 23 to hit um, uh, 23 to hit against this guy. Uh, that is a brute. Wait, his mental defense is eight. <laughs> okay. So oh. uh, eight would go to 13 goes to 20 uh, goes to 18 goes to 23. And you got a what? A 23. 
At 23, yeah. So that's a three more bonus damage. So that's heavy, brutal, that? double brutal, if you want to call it that, beyond brutal, right? So three base damage plus three is six points of psychic damage uh, as you blast this, fr this nice. as he's just like nice. stuck, stuck in this little uh, tongue wrestle contest with this uh, this other frog. You see his head reel back as his tongue kind of <laughs> goes tight as he's as he reels back in this deep bellow. Uh, love it, love it, love it. That is six points of damage to the big guy. I'll I'll do that exact same thing again. I'll spend a mana point for another plus two, but this time I'll spend the second action point to attack not at disadvantage. So it's just a flat roll. Okay, right, I see. That. But it's the exact same thing. And Is real quick, qu real quick before that happens, uh, you actually see that this caused his tongue to come off of the uh, the the creature, the frog creature he had grappled. It comes off him. He <laughs> like looks around, confused. Like you've triggered, you triggered a reaction he had, but then he couldn't take it for some reason. So interesting there. Okay, but go for it. Yes, I forgot to add bless, but it wouldn't have mattered even with a four. So oh, I also um, forgot to put an X on Hibbit and put him inside of that. So there we go. Okay, cool. Oh, Sorry. okay. I just want to make sure to take care of that. So Sorry. this time it's just a twenty, a twenty. To oh, hit. just a twenty. Five. Great. So, uh, so that still is a so another five. So another, another five. Yes, another yes, five yes, points yes, of yes. psychic damage. Dang. 11 nice. points of damage in one turn as you it, it it are you upset with the death of hibbit i just want to know like is yeah it, yeah, yeah. I, I, like berry forms attachments yeah. very swiftly yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he started off like yeah so, so i think each, each black yeah, yeah it's like it's hibbit's hibbit's face yeah. it sees Still it in its monstrous mind out. yeah it, it okay. like overwhelming regret um, you flex, you, know. you flex out of anger, and that powers yeah, yeah. your mind, and you just the big creature's mind is just it's just reeling in place. Um, well done, Barry. Well done, Barry. Uh, it is now. Uh, it is now the oh my gosh, uh, the rest of these guys. The already the tank. Oh, these. <laughs> this is what you see. Uh, you see out of out of this these tents. Oh god, you see out of these tents. You see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Whoa, it just comes out of this tent uh, and you see uh, it, it just gurgling and, and confused at what's going on. Uh, it just runs up over here uh, in the middle of everything, in the middle of this fight, and it spins its one action point to attack Ariana uh, out of just confusion of whatever's going on in the middle of all of this. Uh, and that's going to be a, t a 10. Miss. Miss. Uh, and that is the... Which means the I, I recover my stamina point. Oh, very because nice. Monks, very monks nice. get their stamina points back when they get missed. Props to you for knowing your stuff. That's that that is actually that's actually pretty cool. So I he just uh, she just does a total like wax off, wax on, wax off. She's just like what is she? <laughs> She's just running in there. Uh and yeah, that all the other grunts are dead. <laughs> this is the <laughs> slot for the grunts turn and they're all dead except for this this guy. Um love that. Uh and then that is uh the gross turn and we're at we're at Merrick. What are you doing Merrick and all of the chaos? All right. So I want to <clears throat> see if I can fit all this in one turn. So I really want to get my stamina uh point back here. So I'm wait, going wait. to Wait, real quick time out. You have a stamina point. Um out of combat, your stamina resets. So y'all oh, had a time out of combat, so you have okay. your, your stamina back. So sta that's the, another cool. perk of stamina is if you're just walking around, you'll have that time where you're kind of like planning out stuff, you regained your stamina automatically. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So the first thing I want to do then is I, I've got my, my tasty goop goop bola. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to throw it at grub grub. <laughs> He's going to try and eat himself. <laughs> Okay, I see it. All right, yeah. All right, so give it, yeah, give me an attack. Give me an attack check. Uh, so I rolled a 16, so that is a modified 20. 16, 16, 20. Uh, he's going to, he he's <coughs> absolutely gets hit. Uh, there is no real agility state for this guy. I would even say he just automatically, he's this massive frog creature. You also see he hasn't really moved. Like he hasn't really, he has these massive back legs, but he's just been standing there like, <laughs> yeah, that's all he's doing. Um, so yeah, you see, um, uh, you, you, his, his big old paw of a frog just gets shat, uh, shattered on and, and, uh, the goop is covering up his right hand now. So we'll see what that does. I love it. All right. Awesome. So <laughs> now I'm going to use an action. So that, that was, that was one point. So I'm going to use another point to move up. Uh, within melee range of him. Also, y'all don't let me forget he has Goop Goop on his on his hand because there is something that that's going to happen. I just don't want to forget it. 
Are you talking about me having goop goop on my hand? No, no, no. The uh, the, the, the grub, grub. grub grub has oh, okay. goop on his hand. So so right. one action point to throw it, another action point to run in there. What are you doing? Yep. And then so I'm going to use um one action point to well, so I'm going to use my debilitating strike. Mm-hmm. So that's one AP and one stamina. Yep. And I'm going to make that attack roll, mm-hmm. right? And I want to try to ex- impose the expose condition. Yep, yep. Uh, that's going right, to so be I... uh, over 20. So what'd you get? Oh, uh, well, shoot. Um, <laughs> I got a 17. So what's nice, though, oh, just to, really, to, to quickly bless? showcase this. Um, oh, give it bless. Give it bless. Did you get bless? I did get blessed. Okay, oh, cool. yeah, my bad. That's a D4, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. D4. All right. I don't get blessed very often, so. <laughs> um, eh, shoot. That's a two. Cool. So, so still 18, so close. right? So here's the here's how this works, though. This is called a dynamic attack save. You tried to impose a condition and attack him at the same time, right? So your attack, which was a, a 18 total, was it? Yeah. 18 total. Your attack hits, right? Like you're targeting his defense. So your attack hits. It is a regular okay. hit, right? Um, but he had to make a save against that same attack check and he rolled higher. So he, you, you hit him, but he did not suffer the effect, right? So he's got it. Okay. Yeah. When he said 20, I thought you were talking about his physical defense. I'm like, oh, oh no, man, no. 20 that. for the physical okay. save, which he's very good at, right? Um, so it. yeah. So you hit him and deal your base of, of two damage. And yep. he is, does not have that condition of exposed on him, though. Um, so, and he does not have any other conditions on him as well. So that is two uh, points of damage to the big guy. Boom. All Love right. Uh, you still, I believe, have one more action point. I have one more action point, and God help me, I'm gonna hit him with my other sword. Okay, give me a attack check. Uh, that is a sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen hits for another two damage. Another two damage. Got it. Awesome. Love the dual wielding. Love the dual wielding. Love it. All right. Uh, that is Merrick's turn, bringing us back to the top of the lineup. Um, and we have uh, Ariana. Okay. Um, I'm going to run up. I don't know if I take an opportunity attack from this grunt. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. You do. <laughs> oh! <Okay. laughs> He's going to swat at you. Ooh, 19 on the dice plus one is 20. That hits. That's a, that's a heavy hit. Ooh, so do you take two damage from this absolutely grunt of a of a creature? Uh, you just you've killed three of them already. You've you're like, oh yeah. god, and you just turn. Oh, he gets a little <laughs> bit of something <laughs> off on you. You're like, ah, like what could he possibly do? <laughs> what could he possibly Ow. do? Ah, so then Should yes, have dealt you, with him first, but <laughs> you get in there. All yes. right, so one to move. Now I want to taunt this guy. Mm-hmm. I want to show how this works, but but help me understand. Uh, make sure I'm clear. So it, it's one AP. It says, um, mm-hmm. you know, I choose an enemy creature. I make an attack check contested by the target's mental save, mm-hmm. and things happen. Do do I do I make an attack, which is one AP, and then taunt, which is a second AP, or do I just spend one AP yeah. and we do this? It's one thing? AP. It's one AP for the taunt. So okay. the taunt in zero. I'm not 6. actually trying to hit him yeah, yeah, with yeah, this. Yeah. It's just so the taunt it. to clarify one thing, which I think might clear it up, but also to show another up rules update for zero point six. Taunt is an attack check or an intimidation check. Your choice, right? That's the new update okay. to zero point six. It's an attack Got check it. because attack checks are based off of your prime. I don't want someone to have to if they're taunting and intimidating or whatever using their combat prowess i don't want them to have to oh i have to choose intimidation as a skill and then i have to have a high might and i have to and all that stuff right so an attack check kind of Got protects it. you in that same prime concept uh, to be able to taunt things like that right so whichever's higher of the two you make your check and it's just okay. one action point to do the taunt and you're good you can spend another action point to do a full taunt which is yes. uh for the entire for the until the end of your next turn um right yes yeah, so, I don't so, know which one so there. that's what i'm going to do except for i'm going to spend a stamina point mm-hmm. instead of an action point mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. so one action yeah. point one stamina yeah um and then i'm going to do a full taunt it's the oh, yeah. plus four my gosh my rolls uh um, <laughs> so that's going to be a total of eight. Oh my gosh um, um i got an eight 
I got, so does and, that mean and, you win? Um, no. So the uh, in general, the the, the whoever the, actually so currently, and this is the the uh, the same thing happened. Like whatever the states were, whatever the state of the game was at, stays the same. Yeah. Right. So he wasn't okay. taunted before. So he's now he definitely I would say just even from he sees you and he's can attack you and stuff. There's no mechanical associated with it right now, but he's definitely has sees you at least for the next attack or something. You've you've okay. done something of worth there. Um, but he does not have the mechanic of taunted uh, as far as the condition goes. Uh, you can try again. All right. But I have, I only have one. No, I have two action points left. Yeah. So I could try and get a full taunt off on, on him again, or I could try and punch him. <laughs> Screw it. Let's, let's, let's see what this mechanic looks like. So okay. yeah, I'm going to try and taunt him again. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All um, right. You're like, hey, stupid frog face. That's better. <laughs> um, so that's a, 26 oh my gosh okay i actually rolled better that time it doesn't matter yeah that that is that is a win right there um so you see him like and he he's reeling from the psychic damage inside of his head it's almost like ringing and he kind of like you're just like hey and i i imagine you just like kind of punching hey big frog man yeah. you know <laughs> and then i'm, I'm actually i'm not trying to even do damage i'm just insulting him i'm just like flicking him hey, with my finger hey. i'm just like <laughs> like hey hey i'm talking to you just making a bunch of noise and he kind of <laughs> eyes you and then and then you keep at it and you bring up the intensity of it and he is now locked onto you. He is taunted okay. uh, by you. So yes, uh, attacks and everything else, everyone else except you had disadvantage. Uh, you are tanking the frog hemoth now. So uh, good luck there. And that is Ariana's <laughs> turn. And then we have the, uh, oh, this little guy. This little guy right here. Um, he sees what's going on here and he... He's he's a he's a thinker. He's a thinker. He's going to uh, uh, go over here. One, two. He doesn't. You don't have opportunity attacks as a spellcaster there, Barry. So one, two, three, four, uh, and then he's gonna do, he is gonna do five to get right here. So that does provoke an opportunity attack from you, Merrick, if you want to take one on him or not. It would be. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him go okay, by. Okay, okay. Um, and you see him go to the same goop that, that you guys had before. And you see him, so that's one action point to get over there. Uh, and two, because he had to spend two moves. And you see him grab up a huge slob of goop uh, that he then, he has like this little, like this, the, the ball. Not the, it's not popped yet or whatever, but he has one in his hand. And that's where he's gonna stop right there. <coughs> and then Dora. Okay. <clears throat> I, I realized that I am very much covered in very delicious goop. And I probably do not long for this world because um, I'm going to get eaten. So I point my sticky hand over to. Um, well, just Grub for the Grub. record, mechanically, you don't have tasty. You have a lot of goop on you from a lot of the stuff, but you don't specifically have tasty goop goop. You just have regular goop goop from stickiness and other things that have gone on. So just to be clear on the mechanics oh. of tasty goop goop. It's very, okay, very okay. specific, important mechanic. Because the because the, the tasty goop goop uh, the bola yeah, is what yeah. I was eating. So I might have yeah, I might have, I don't know. Uh, maybe um, it's around your mouth a little bit. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe not enough for the big guy to uh to uh to catch on to just yet. All right, I see it. I I will attack my my delicious goop rival because I want it all. So I, I will shoot the uh, grub grub. Uh well, I'll activate my blessing of destruction. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Then I'm gonna cast guiding bolt. Um, and spend an extra action to get advantage on it. Yeah, yeah. And there's no spellcasters in sight. Um, and you are free to cast it. Go for it. Ooh. Oh, with advantage, though. Oh, my Natural God. 20. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, you roll a 4, then a natural 20. Uh, plus bless. So that's a 25 total. 25 total is uh, is is tw over 20 beyond no 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 it's it's 50 so it's three three bonus so it's a beyond brutal heavy brutal beyond brutal um so it's three bonus damage your base damage for guiding bolt is four i believe right no base is three base is three um and it, it and doesn't fails. say anything here whether it gets more powerful deals more damage the more like above. oh that's that's a baseline of the game yeah so that's okay, a, okay, a, okay. that's a that's taken care of on the front end of the game yeah um so he fails to save with a three uh, for the mint for the the effect of the guidance so that is three base damage plus three 
extra holy damage there. So that's six damage. Uh, Plus the blessing, the, the prayer of destruction. The prayer so of destruction, which is a cleric only thing that pray, clerics pray over their spells before they can cast and they can add additional effects onto spells. In this case, damage. So a six damage spell plus another three damage is nine points of holy damage that you rocket into this thing before. Um, he is bloodied <laughs> now. He is bloodied now. After a whole bunch of... Uh, 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 this big round of haymakers that's gone into it. Psychic damage blasting out, getting stabbed with things. Uh, a bunch of tap taps uh, is taunted by this by this monk and then now blasted with holy light. Uh, this thing is looking looking uh, over bloodied now for sure. That not nine points really even pushed it even beyond. Um, and I'll say, um, oh rats, I thought that would kill him. Guys, I'm running out of magic. I might be able to heal only once. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Dora's turn, leading us to the frog Hebeth. And his eyes are squarely set on you. Re remember, his hand has goop on it. Oh, that's right. He just wanted us to remind you of that. Thank you. Thank you. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know yeah, who yeah. wins, the hand or um, the taunted. So, so <laughs> I'm going to say in this very creative ruling of this goop goop, he is going to spend an action point, just shit it away to lick goop off of his hand. <laughs> He's not gonna bite himself You're if welcome. you thought you were gonna bite himself, but you did <laughs> just creatively stun partially uh, uh, and take away one of uh, a fourth of his action economy here uh, in this moment. Uh, love that. <laughs> uh, as now the rest of his right, as you still like poke, 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 uh, just yeah. you're punching into the side of the thing, just getting his attention. He sets his sights back on you and he's going, I need, I need you to make a martial check against this tongue that might have tether. been a mistake um so all right uh, it's a uh 15 plus 5 20 did you did he minus d4 ooh, for bane ooh, you're right you're right you're right bane 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 uh 20 and that's okay. a 2 so 18 okay Wait, is that a natural in case one? anybody in case anybody uh, <laughs> who's watching this saw my last one shot that was publicly televised um, I was I did a one shot. This is just a funny story with Chris Triant Monk and Pack Tactics Kobold uh, with um, Insight Check Jeremy. We did a, we did a play test one shot for the Unearthed Arcana D and D five E stuff. Oh, I seriously rolled like I don't know fifty percent of my rolls were crits. It was ridiculous. Like I just crit everything. Like uh, the natural ones or natural twenties. No crits, like I was oh, okay. like, yeah, Killing everything it. was yeah, like, yeah. I'm just like crit, 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 crit. The I did like, I did 110, balanced. I did 110 damage with a single hit at one point. Like it was <laughs> oh, just ridiculous. <laughs> and, and I was just thinking like, <sighs> karma is going to come around. Come back and, around. Um, and we yeah, are here. So, we are here so, now. So yes, it's been, it's been a rough day. Karma. Um, um, so phew. I do get to add bless, but I don't know if that matters. Nope. <laughs> like, I don't know if bless, do you know what I mean? Like if you yeah. get a natural one, like it's just, like, oh, it's a fail. Matter. It's you just a fail. You're yeah, going to yeah. fail. Mm -hmm. So whatever. I yep, fail. Yep. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you are lat latched in there, uh, and, uh, in, in one space and he is now going to gulp you and pull, pull you okay. in there. Uh, and I, I will say, uh, it's not in the mechanics at all, but I just feel like a natural one on that. You have disadvantage on this next uh, attack for him to swallow you. So uh, just okay. just as a as a just to put icing on the cake there. Uh, there and I rolled an 18 on top of that, too. So uh, it's just you're really going to get swallowed here is what it's looking like. Um, so that's a 23. <laughs> But I have this advantage. Is there is there like a is, is this a safe? Can I use a grid or oh, something? Hey, this is this is something you could you could uh use use uh use that on if you wanna if you have the wanna use your charisma in that way for this little grit situation. Yeah, sure. I'll I I'll I'll, Wait, I'll right. use it. Oh so so okay, sorry. I'm just just as far as what my role was, uh -huh. disadvantage, so I got a ten plus it was an acrobatics. Uh -huh. No, what was the save? Oh, so Agility it's, it's, saved, actually, it's actually save? not a save. It's you're right. It's actually not a save. So this wouldn't be a grit thing. You're right. It's just a martial check. It's just a martial check. So this would not a be a check. grit thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, so that's a plus five. So I'm fifteen, sixteen with bless. So I'm a sixteen, and I don't think I have any other bonuses I can add. Yeah. So sixteen, and he got a he had a eighteen on the dice. So um, <clears throat> that is a a gulp uh, effect in here. You are now swallowed by this uh, uh, 
Gulp, so long, grub, grub. cruel world. Um, so uh, how this works, you now have the consumed condition, which is a unique condition, not in the game, okay. but this is for this monster. Uh, you take acid damage uh, at the start of your turn every time you're in its stomach, and you need to deal damage to it from inside um, to potentially get regurgitated out. Um, your allies okay. could also deal damage from the outside, but it's a higher threshold to be able to trigger it as you have to do more okay. in there. So uh, you're now swallowed. Uh, so yeah, I'm just like, hey, hey. <laughs> eat me, eat me. I'm, 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 I'm freaking, what's his name? Drax uh, from uh, yeah. Guardians oh, of the yeah. Galaxy. And he, he complied. <laughs> like, I didn't think that would work yeah, so yeah. well. Ah! Yeah, you get, you get in, just like Hibbit, just like right into <laughs> its mouth. And you see, you see the same sort of uh, punches and kicks. Also, oddly enough, you are next to the body of Hibbit, yes. But there is also inside yeah. of this a, a that spellcaster. <laughs> also now inside this mouth with you <laughs> um, like, hey, what's up? He, he looks burnt <laughs> up and like ah, like part of his bones and like muscles are showing uh but he's been in here and he took some took some damage uh from the last round uh but yeah now you're inside the mouth there um so that was his right. one point turn to eat that two points worth of uh eating you now and now who's next Merrick, um, uh, he see he's going to do a, a tongue tether at Merrick, except this time now he has a uh, uh, double disadvantage now because he just keeps doing the same repeated uh, uh, attack check over and over again to try and get you here. So he has a disadvantage on this. Uh, seven is it going to be a third, a twelve uh, against you, Merrick? What you got for your uh, martial check? Uh, Marshall check is gonna end up being a 19. 19. So after seeing this and you see the Ariana get instantly <clears throat> gulped up, you are on high alert. You know what's coming. He sees you and go and you just do a little quick side, quick side step as it hits the ground and comes back. Uh, and that is the frog humus turn. We're at Barry. All what right. Gonna I'm going to kick off with a mind blast. Um, just flat. I'm going to drop a mana point. I've got mm -hmm, three left mm -hmm. and down to two um, to do one extra damage. And I'm going to do one rend mind. So I'm going to need a Ooh. mental save as Ooh, well. OK, OK. If he fails this mental save, uh -huh. his mental defense will be reduced by two until the end of my next turn. Oh, Ooh. I see. I see where you're going. I see where you're going with it. Um, so that is um, that got to be is... 25. Oh, is gosh. Bane? OK, 14. 14. Yeah. Um, oh, well, yeah. And yeah, Bane, I guess. But it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Bane would still be on him. So yeah. uh, that is a we know that's a brutal uh brutal uh super brutal hit giga brutal hit right oh, what was the number 25 25 yeah um so 25 the the reduction of uh, defense doesn't happen yet until you're following ones but 25 i i do believe uh was a yeah three giga brutal uh, uh, yeah, giga yeah brutal. So that's <laughs> i love that three three plus one so so it's five damage five and his damage, mental yeah. defense is now we know that it's now it's so six, six now Dang. so okay then um, i'm gonna attack ooh. again well bloodied uh, disadvantage this time and I'm going to burn so hmm. um, hmm. a KL1. I'm going to this time burn a mana point just to do two extra damage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For a total of six. Does meets it beats it? <laughs> wow, I got a nat 20 and a nat one, guys. Oh, just, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. Does meets um, it beats well, it uh, so with AC? If you've got a nat 20 and a nat one, that means we're going with a nat one. Which you don't add so anything to. Oh, you know, you always fail. miss, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I was just. Uh, but meets it, beats it. Normally, yes. But yeah. you are at, rocking with a one right now. So um, uh, you see in the gullet, you see the mouth, you see Ariana in there, you see the the the, the, the spellcaster as well, uh, kind of in this weird. Let me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got this. You're just a little distracted, and then oh. Hibbit's body flops out of its mouth and poof, hits the ground distracting you just a little bit too much um uh love it love it that is that's all four action points right there uh you did. Or is, just is one all? no one attack oh, you're using mana points uh, with that's a right. mana point mm -hmm. then second mm -hmm. attack plus a mana point mm -hmm. then this is going to be the third attack plus a mana point so okay. i'll take three yeah. d20 yeah, yeah uh two two mana points on damage 10 there we go there we go um okay. yeah yep, yep, yep. so that is a uh just a regular hit because he's got six yeah so, so he'll just take three because I built my last three. One yep, 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 yeah. yep. Love it. And love then it. I'll drop. I'll, I'll do one final one, just flat damage this time, mm -hmm. right, for another ten. So that's yeah, that's just quadruple oh disadvantage, just a regular attack. What's so just so one really, damage. What's so cool that what you just showcased as a, as a almost mini little timeout here is you 
cleverly lowered his already eight down to a six. And then you're like, yeah. I don't care how much disadvantage I have. Quadruple had. disadvantage doesn't I need a nat one to miss, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you did yeah. get that nat one once, so there's that. Yeah, I did. But yeah. uh, you, yeah. you didn't care because you tanked it down so low to where you just kept pumping now. What a really cool Scion move that I, that's, I love that. I actually love that. Um, so that's another, and that last bit of damage was another. That's just a one, that last one. Okay, cool. Yep, perfect. Um, perfect. So love that. I, yeah, and I am now out of mana points. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I wasn't counting across the turn, but yeah. The flexing, um, the flexing. And just, yeah, yeah, just sheer. Use the blood um, rush into your head now <laughs> from all the mana flexing. Uh, love that berry. There we go. Uh, and then this grunt, it, it does have a little turn to run up and attack Dora. He's giving himself advantage on the attack, super simply. Uh, that's a 19, Dora. 19 uh, does, does hit me. Is it regular uh, hit? That would be a, 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 a heavy. Heavy hit? Yeah. All right, so that's two points of damage. Normally, your heavy armor would reduce that, but ha since it was a heavy hit, uh, damage reduction does not apply to heavy hits. Oh, um, okay. So uh, normally, it he deals one damage, and you would have negated that down to nothing with heavy armor with a damage reduction of one. Uh, but heavy hits and beyond bypass damage reduction, so you take two damage. Long story now, short. Now, what do I do with concentration? We haven't Ooh, talked about that. There we go. Uh, so you make a you make a uh, a mental save, a mental save to try and maintain concentration on this bless. I, f I actually forgot about that. Um, and the the DC is equal to ten or double the damage that you took. So you only took two damage, which is four. So you're going with ten. It's the higher of the two. Uh, 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 so so a mental check would mental just be save. like plus. Uh, oh, sorry, intelligence or charisma save, whichever is higher. You get to choose. Okay. Physical save is the higher of the two physical, and mental save is the higher of the two mental. Oof, oh, yeah, nice. you're good, you're set, cool. Yeah, it's yeah. this little Merle, you're not even, you're not even phased by it. Oh, he just hits you just like Ariana did. You're focused on what just happened to Ariana. Um, and that is now Merrick's turn. All right, so I see this little grunt here with his ball of tasty goop goop, and I, I just know he's gonna try to throw that stuff at me. Um, I don't like that idea. He's looking so right at I you, would, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would like to use my sling. If uh -huh, this is possible, yeah. I'd like to use my sling to target that that little glob of gloop gloop and just make it explode on him if possible. <laughs> okay, no, I see it, I see it. Wow, I love that, I love that. So I'm gonna say make an attack check at disadvantage because you're specifically right. trying to target a smaller thing within the main the guy, right? So make an attack check yeah. at disadvantage. You can spin extra action points to cancel that out or whatever as well, if this isn't that important to you or, or whatever. So you still have four action points. Yeah, I'm gonna burn I'm gonna burn one AP to, to make this a straight roll. So okay. we're down to three. Um, and that's to gonna me. be a 19. Yes, that hit, that's a hit, that's a hit. Um, it shatters on him, shatters. And what y'all have very nicely been able to avoid this whole time that I can now say is his legendary actions are gated behind people being hit with goop goop. And I have used, uh, I blame Ariana from killing my goop goops grunts because their only job was the goop goop people. And they were only gonna run around and goop goop people, but you killed all of them. So now this guy has to freaking pick up the slack and then you shatter out of his hand. It shatters in his own face. The frog uses a legendary, two legendary action points to, to just gulp up the, the guy. I, it does make a roll, but a 16 and a five, he gets him. And this guy is now also in here with you, Ariana. So for, nice. for the record, you actually do have uh, to just showcase who's inside the stomach with you. Uh, you have a little party going on here. We'll have all the of these party. guys all all up here. So right above the- Yeah, as soon as, 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 soon as he comes in, I just look at him and be like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then I just keep punching. <laughs> oh my gosh, love it, love it. So you have all another right. another little frog tank in there that's now gonna, uh, chomp down on uh, and yes Merrick that was a great use of two action points that guy is now gone um, if you Perfect. have two more action points all right uh, <clears throat> so now uh, this this big guy here mm -hmm. he he has he has attacked me right mm -hmm. since the start of my last turn right yes okay. he has so because you know I'm using a sword and mm -hmm. my passive maneuver of the sword is I deal mm -hmm. plus one damage against creatures that I have attacked or that have attacked me since yep. the start of my last turn. So I'm going to just roll a straight attack against him. Yep. And that is going to be a 16. 16? 16 does hit. Regular hit, yes. All right. Yep, so two is my base damage, plus, plus one, one from my style passive, damage. so that's Got three it. damage. Ooh. And yep. then I'm going to dual wield it and do mm -hmm. another straight attack roll. Yep. And that is, that is not going to work so well. That is a 12. 
12, okay. Um, this thing is is on uh, on death's door. It is it is super super close uh, to death. Y'all have dealt uh, 37 points of total damage to this thing uh, collectively. Uh, and after that, with Merrick uh, and the frog getting cut up, the Merrick wheeling the two, the showcasing dual wielding pretty well actually. Uh, gets one off there, not the other one. We're back to the top of the lineup with Ariana. You might have might have skipped me, maybe. What? You might have skipped me. I think. No, you were just, you were I before. Thought, I thought you did your guiding bolt. You did your guiding bolt and you pumped it with nine damage. And then you did the, you did the six, the six damage plus the three from your, your. Yeah, your, I, I thought it was Lesher. My bad then. Um, Cause then it was you and then the frog thing ran up and it, uh, or then yeah, it was then, the frog guy's turn and he did the whole thing uh, with. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you, you're, you're good. I think that's it. Cause I'm right after you in the initiative. Yeah. 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 And, I, yeah. And, I, yeah. and I'm top of the round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so top of the lineup is Ariana. Inside the belly of the beast, you take two points of acid damage immediately. Two points. Good thing I had 12 hit points to start. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty big. <laughs> I was tanky, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's really tanky. And you are tanking them from the inside now. Actually, um, I'm sorry. I had 11. You told me last night I had 11. This and is I true. Never this is true. So now I'm down to seven instead of eight. Okay, sorry. Yep. yep. Um, but you are you are your turn. Four action points inside this thing. This thing's like okay. Like, okay. So first of all, slacked out. Sorry. Go for it. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna free action go into bear stance. Yep. Okay. From from because I was still in mongoose, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm gonna start wailing on this guy. Go for it. So, oh my gosh, you're in mongoose stance, and you are flanked by enemies inside of the mouth. So I will say you have benefits of the mongoose stance. Oh, okay. So maybe I should stay there instead of go into bear. Oh, um, is that well, what that, you're wanting? Excuse me. Well, no, I mean, I might as well. Like, Well, no, no, no. You know what? I am going to go into bear because oh, the heavy I like bear stuff, because yeah. I get advantage if, if I miss. Mm -hmm. 100%. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So, okay. So it. first attack is this plus four plus a D4. So there we go. 26. <laughs> 26. So 26 uh, is a brutal... So that Brutal. two damage goes to four damage and plus uh, one for bear stance plus so five one for bear stance. Uh, and, and that is exactly the number it takes to trigger him nice. to vomit you out. Uh, nice. and also enough hit points to kill him. So Woo! how does Ariana oh. do this as you so, also get so, regurgitated from the damage you dealt to him to do this in the first place? Exactly. So, so she actually is just going to like take a second and just do like a little bit of a <laughs> Mr. Miyagi <laughs> thing and just channel all the people <laughs> and she'll just like, <laughs> and just punch like, and you just see this fist Ow. come yeah. out like through his gullet <laughs> and then she yeah. just like, just like tears down the center, it open yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah and then just like steps out like yeah. you know just like <laughs> shaking yes, herself yes, off yes walk Mer merrick's gonna look at ariana and be up like, so how was the sauna <laughs> covered uh it was a little it was a little spicy coming in honest, slime but, um <laughs> don't suppose anybody has a prestidigitation handy by chance <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sorry, no more, no more so, area. Yeah. Um, and you step out as this, as the, as Grub Grub slops to the ground. To the two other frogs roll out next to you as they stand up, and then go down to their knees, bowing uh, on their hands, facing Ariana as the new frog princess uh, <laughs> of the of the Kroken. Uh, you see this one, this one remaining next to Doru uh, runs over. Uh, runs over here to go see Ariana, uh, who is now surrounded by all of the frog people uh, as they now bow in honor uh, from the slain uh, frog hemoth. Uh <laughs> she, she just she just kind of goes, yes, yes, you have my blessing on you. Spread the good word of uh, oh, what 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 do we call ourselves? What's what's our um, we we need a we need a we what's need a the name? name of our company <laughs> that you now um, have a frog army to follow you in. Yeah, exactly. Somebody quick. Give me give me give me uh, give me We a are Boal? Bo <laughs> wow. You get it? Bam. Wow. Spread spread, yeah. spread 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 word uh, to all of uh, your neighboring little froggy people um that uh, Boal now reigns supreme. Uh, uh yeah. And and uh you Go see with my blessing. You see right next to the body of the massive frog hemoth is Hibbit. 
just in a in a in a side little you know almost peaceful he looks almost peaceful he <laughs> served the the grub grub and then he got eaten by grub grub um very simple <laughs> life and uh you take that with you now uh, uh barry and you can go forward and with your new frog yeah. army that you now have with the frog princess ariana um then that is where we will end the one shot <laughs> Woo! yeah all right <laughs> There we go. Wow. Wow. That was, uh, that was crazy. That was crazy. I, I was like, okay, they'll either kill it and it'll be this whole thing. Uh, but then you'll have this really, uh, if anyone's earned a surprise round in DC 20 so far, it was that, that was so cool to have the, the layers of the setup to then go back and get Hibbit. So, uh, well done guys. Well done guys. Round of applause, round of applause. Love it. Thank y'all. Well, thank that was you. Fun. That was fun. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah it was, it really was fun. It was a really cool. I feel like uh, everyone's class felt like their class. Like, like yeah. just watching. Like the, the monk felt like a monk. The rogue felt like a rogue. Right. Like right, it, right, right. But mechanically, it's different. You know. Like yeah. as in, um. But it did feel like you captured the identities really well. I love oh, yeah. that. And yeah. the, the the conditions, those debilitating strikes, just never got to land for you to be benefit from your uh, sinister strike. Uh, getting the bonus damage from the sinister strike with those conditions, right? Um, yeah. So that, yeah. That, that I never tough. could quite do the uh right, 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 right. conditions and whatnot but, but that, i mean know, it's I, all right i love the dual wheel the dual wheel showcase you all you man like each of your turns wound up to where you had two action points and you could just make two regular attacks not you know provoking the disadvantage and then speaking of not provoking disadvantage with the bunk bah, 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 you know in the center of the yeah. mongoose stance uh with all of that too and then you had some big yeah old... i love i love how powerful the classes feel right at level one i mean yeah will's over here doing 11 damage in a single turn you know, right? Uh, right, right, right? Rex did did nine plus. Mm -hmm. You know, healing mm -hmm. people and mm -hmm. holding on to bless and yeah. everything like that. Like, yeah, the bless and, then, and yeah. bane. The bless is strong yeah, the, bane. Yeah, they were always yeah, the, good. The spells, glass, the glass cannons felt like cannons. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Having four having four actions on a turn. You know, my biggest complaint about Pathfinder, I think, in the end, and having mm, played yeah. quite a bit mm -hmm. with some of, some of you guys too. Um, the three action economy is cool on paper, mm -hmm. I think, um, because it's like, oh, well, like I, I could potentially Flexible. extra attack or I could do like lots of different things. But the way that like everything takes an action made it in the end feel very restrictive. Yeah. Right. And it's, you had to make like, these certain ah, choices. So therefore, the stuff therefore, that I want to do. But having really four first of all bumping it up to four and then also letting you move like use your full movement if you take the move action you can move use mm -hmm. your full movement like That's between huge, uh those actions like mm -hmm. all of that together made it feel a lot more uh, mm, what's the word i'm looking for like customizable like, uh, fluid and options got a better kind of allowance like yeah and yeah. let you do like stuff that you actually wanted to do and and yeah the way that you know, even though you are, well, most classes anyway, are penalized for mm -hmm. like kind of taking multiple actions mm -hmm. uh, on an enemy. The fact that you can use some of your actions to counter that. Yeah. Um, it just, yeah, I, I like it. That's it feels, cool. That's um, I thought it was really elegant that, so we, we, we threw that goop to Grub Grub's hand, right? <laughs> yeah. And so when it came time for him to act, trying to figure out like, oh, well, how do we make that sort of happen into you, play you know, in a way that benefits thing, yeah. the players, mm -hmm. harms the monster, but doesn't mm -hmm. harm it too much, right? right? The fact that you can just have it be removed, like have it remove one of its actions. Yeah, super simple, super obvious, yeah. It's simple, it's elegant. <laughs> it actually feels like you did something like in right. the role player or whatever that like actually yeah. worked and right. the monster doesn't get and, crippled too much. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. and it's still, you know, the, the Grub Grub was still able to act, whereas in D&D, &D, it would have been like, oh, okay, well, all right, he bites himself. If you lose your action, right. then you're, you're screwed. And that's his turn. Yeah. It's um, true. It makes it makes those little role play actions feel less punishing. Um, this is me. something I felt when I did the play test at, G at Gen Con, where you get those wild players that are like doing some epic stuff and like creative outside the box thinking. So props to all, all of that different stuff that was happening. But like, it's so much easier to dungeon master the, in this system because you have these four points. And if you want to do not just what what do I issue out for the, the, the punishment for the bad guys, but like when a player wants to do something wild for themselves, I'm like, well, that'd be an action point or two or whatever. And you can better navigate those outside the box ideas, which I love, uh, but it helps facilitate that. Yeah, sure. like if 
like you know people always complain about like the saver suck stuff right like if a mm -hmm. player gets paralyzed their entire turn is wasted yeah but in this system you yeah. could just be like well you know you lose like two actions and you can still right. do stuff and the spell still feels powerful like, just you like have the spell options. duel like the spell duel too if that guy yeah. had four action points i used two of them you know now granted he got eaten because of the clever bola move from the surprise round from ariana and all that stuff but um that was uh kind of shows also the risk and reward of like okay i could do something i still have half my turn you know um another thing that was really that y'all touched on is min maxing as i'm sure some of y'all you know what i'm talking about uh min maxing and optimizing your turn in in D, D is i do big numbers big numbers i figured out how to do big numbers but in in dc20 a lot of ways it's how can i get the most out of my four action points as possible sometimes yeah, yeah that is damage and numbers and creatively using like the the um your your the stacking disadvantage and the lower of the thing that w will did to do all that psychic damage or combining uh advantage and uh prayers and stuff to do more holy damage or whatever um all of that but then it's like squeezing out y'all were some of y'all were able i think everyone had at some turn at some point where you did a whole bunch on your turn with your action points to be able to like i'm going to move exactly to here and then i'm going to do this and then it's a lot more tactical that kind of stretches the action points as far as you can so um i like seeing i like seeing that happen for players too <clears throat>